Oh, day okay. 13. Oh, it's day 13 of the trip? Okay, so day 13, uh, yesterday we were in Dublin on, oh, what was the name of that street? Uh, Temple Bar. Te Temple Bar. Which and the day before that we were in Belfast. Uh, Temple Bar was in, we had so many, all these people from, from different countries coming to us and recognizing the terms. We had people from Bolivia, South Africa, Australia, France, a bunch of people from, from the States. Thank you for coming over. And uh, it was a lot of fun. And today we are in Cardiff. <laughs> Cardiff, Wales. And what part of Cardiff are we in? Uh, it's Wales. <laughs> okay, Wales. Sorry, we're in Wales. We're downtown and in the middle of some business center. Uh, the wind's up. And it's a lot of fun so far. I'll be here for a few more. Why is that not all wrong? It is, well, can you tell? What's little of my hair is blowing quite, you know, the trees, everything's blowing. Uh, if we put that thing up, it would turn into a sail and it would blow away. So we got it kind of backed up against the ground. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, I'm here for a few more hours and then I'm heading back up to the Cardiff airport and then I'm heading over to Stockholm. Uh, to go to the Gather Festival, you can check that out at gatherfestival.com. I'm doing the, the keynote discussion right off the bat, first day, in the main hall. And I don't know exactly, I think we're talking about conspiracies and Flat Earth, the you know, psychology of the whole thing, which would be interesting, because it is not a conspiracy conference. I still don't know exactly why I'm going. We'll hope I get out alive. And then after that, I'm coming back and doing the uh, Globe Lie Tour Convention, which is Globe Lie Convention down in Kidderminster. And that's going to be Saturday and Sunday? Uh, yeah, I Friday, Saturday. Friday and Saturday and Sunday. And so everyone that hasn't, doesn't have tickets, please uh, please get tickets and come down. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm not speaking until Sunday, but I'm going to be hanging around for the entire thing and having a lot of fun and then flying back to the States on um, uh, the day after. So, yeah, so looking really forward to it. So, yeah, we just started. I will be here uh, a couple more hours and then... Uh, Head, head out. Anyway, it's been fun. I've really enjoyed it. Love the, the three stops I've been on. Lucky to do it. And anyone that can stop and anyone that can stop by the tour, you can find out the entire schedule online. Uh, Globe Light Tour, whatever. You have the, tour, the tour dates are everywhere. And please come by and say hi and talk to a few people. I've got my props in my, in my jacket that I keep out just for the heck. You know, I got a globe in one hand and the flat earth, flat and closed earth in the other. And you know, answering questions and, and enjoying the, the conversations. Yeah, you get some science, heavy science people that they can get irate, but it's okay. You know, the discussion is still worth it, and it lets us know what the opposition is. And so far, it's limited, <laughs> at, at best. You know, very few. I mean, the the people that are more curious than are against us are a wide margin, ten to one at least, or or more. So, there you go. How's that? All right. Did a bad job of me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so well, I'm running. I, my, my sleep schedule is so screwed up. At this point. Oh, I did get some sleep last night. Yeah, you did. So it, it really is. It's so windy here. Um, hopefully, this uh, the muffle on this mic might be okay. Uh, I didn't even ask for an audio check. Was that audio all okay? And uh, are we are we not buffering? Is everything all okay? You got, you, know, I mean, you got your own, but you know. Although people talk to me more if, if I don't have a leaflet. Right, right. You know, I, what, you know what, what it is, is that when people come with me, I actually say, look, if you've got your own leaflets, use your leaflets, you know, like, because, again, this is your journey. Oh, right, right, right. You know, like, Absolutely, so, yeah. yeah. If yeah. you don't like, yeah, if you get, yeah, that's one thing. I mean, like, for example, I, I don't mind. I know you got, you know, Eric Devane, 200 proofs. Yeah. Nice to me. But look, it actually was a decent video. Yeah. I'm not going to knock it. It's got a ton of hits. I know, but it could have been flat of proofs, couldn't it? Well, it's okay. Hey, no, no. I'm the first one to say, don't just, I mean, a lot of people just kind of, again, because I have the 101 book, yeah. which is if you get into Flat Earth, you're probably, you have a high degree of probability you're going to run into me first. But then people tend to outgrow me. Yeah. Which is weird, you know. It's like, oh yeah, I like Mark Stark and stuff, but now yeah. I'm into such a, you know, like you do yeah. the people in academia, which say, oh yeah, I read him in my first year, but now I'm into, uh, you know, these guys, you know, yeah, these yeah. high high end authors. I, I've kind of, I, I've outgrown. Uh, I went to, uh, sorry, Eric Debay first, and then I did you. Yeah. But I actually like that Hibbler Productions ones. Hibbler was great. I think it's just uh, amazing. I thought work. Hibbler Hibbler stuff was very very good. Uh, it's amazing. Some people come and go. And I know channels go up and down and people have different priorities in life and they do whatever. 
but we've had some wonderful, yeah, Hibbler Productions was great, and what, what you mentioned there. Okay, so Eric would be like a second year or third year book, yeah. and that's what people, that's what was missing, and then people say, well, did you start Flat Earth? No, no, I didn't start Flat Earth, not, not by a long shot. But what I did was I created an intro book that no one else had done, so that people weren't, there were a lot of people that when they first saw Eric's stuff, they're like, yeah, it's a little too heady. Then they saw my stuff, and they're like, oh, I totally get it, and they went back to Eric's stuff, and then they went on from there. Yeah, yeah, if you, not, I'm not tooting my own horn here, because again, it's an entry level book, but if you read my stuff first, it will absolutely give you the basics to, right. to go forward into any work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a yeah. lot of guys that hit the ground running, and it, yeah. you know, they, they assume that you know a lot more, and you gotta remember, the average, because yeah. I have talked to a lot of people, the, the perfect example would be the eight inches per mile squared, yeah. which is, even I, I didn't know what eight inches per mile squared meant. You know, everyone forgets high school algebra. You're too busy, you know, chasing a member of the opposite sex yeah. or the same sex, not judging all God's children. So, uh, but that's what, but that's what they do. And I forgot everything about algebra. Yeah. And uh, so, in fact, when I even tell people, I mean, it took people, when you even tell people, look, it's eight inches per mile squared, they don't know. And I go, eight inches per mile per mile. They still don't get it. Okay, fine. Three miles. Three times three is nine times eight is 72. And then they do 10 miles and they do 50 miles and then whatever. But if they don't know that. The, the, but that's the problem. We we didn't know that. No, we didn't know that. That's the problem. We had to memorize, yeah, you and I have talked, I have memorized so many scientific, scientific factoids, physics factoids, oh, I'm sorry, math, physics, engineering, uh, astronomy, uh, just about every, you know, all those aspects, we have had to memorize so many things because those are our points. You know, the average person walking around this, this place right now, how fast is the year spinning? How fast is it going around the sun? How fast is the solar system moving sideways? And how fast is our galaxy moving through space? Most people don't know those answers to, yeah. to any of those. And those are some of our bullet points. Uh, not, inch, not, not only eight inches per mile squared, and, and you know what's happening in Antarctica. We, we, know, we know more about geography now because of this. We have to learn, we've become the new scientists, yes, which is weird. Well, we're kind of jack of all trades, though. So yeah, we're yeah, we're true scientists, yeah. you know, like, well, they're not real scientists. Yeah. You know, they, oh yeah, sure, they're using the scientific method, but yeah. they don't have degrees, and, yeah. well, okay, fine, we're not memorizing the books that you're memorizing. Yeah, but having said that, are the points that we've learned, are they true or not? And, and the, if that's what they say in textbooks and that, then we're actually using that against them. It's, yes, that is the, the big point, and that is, it's, the, the, the conversation I was getting with uh, the woman in um, uh, Dublin? No, the other one. Oh, uh, Belfast. Belfast. Uh, was, you know, she was saying that science is, science is open interpretation until it's fact. And, and, she, and then, even then, she, she even said, no, it's not even interpretation, it's experimentation. And, I, and which, what, which meant was, yeah, she said science makes mistakes, right? But not on this. It's like, okay, you know, I you know, kind of like the saying, which is, I, yeah, sure, I can be wrong about a lot of things, but not about this. This I'm 100% sure. It's like, no, you can't be 100% sure about most things in life. I said, you know, which is kind of like the, uh, the core of the earth question, which is, if you tell me the, uh, the, the boiling temperature of water is 212 degrees at, at sea level, that's fine. Tell me what the core of the earth looks like. It's 4,000 miles straight down. Yeah. The deepest hole ever drilled is eight miles by the Germans and the Russians. Yeah. So what's the core of the Earth look like? And it's like, they don't know, but the cross sections of the textbooks always look the same way. So, okay. So, the, uh, so if, it, and they show you know, the red, the orange, the yellow, and the white bands going all the way to the center. And it's like, and it used to, especially the American textbooks, it used to in the bottom part of the page of that, it would say in small print, well, we really don't know what's going on. And it was... He's a professional. It's okay, it's okay, you know, it, he, you know, they, that, again, it's the reaction which, the reason why I'm not upset in the slightest is because if people aren't upset, you know, in four years, and if, if you, if you haven't been doing, you know, if you, the what? can't be bullshit. You 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 No, 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 I, I am only saying what I what I what I what I feel and observe. Yeah. But but the point is is that what I tell people is look if you don't laugh at this in the first five minutes, then you might be you know I trust the people more like him because he's like yeah that's the reaction you're supposed to get that's the reaction I had. I believe you know, that seventy percent of the world is more. Bad.
nine nine months I hammered on this thing and said it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, and then I said, then I did the something that I never thought I'd do, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna make a series of videos, I'm gonna put it out to the internet and say, okay, tell me, tell me that I'm wrong in that I can't prove the globe anymore. Tell me where I'm wrong. And honestly, God is my witness, I honestly thought they were gonna blow me away. I thought that some academic was, you know, from wherever, Harvard, Yale, Oxford, was gonna write me a quick letter and say, okay, here's where you made your mistake. And they didn't. Everybody I talked to said the same thing. It's like, you know what? I did. All the way from Seattle. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Arun? Daniel. Oh, Daniel. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. The, uh, but that's how it started. And again, I had I gone the other way, I, you know, and had somebody shot me down right away, I would have closed the whole thing down. And they didn't. So, is they? Oh, is he having fun with them? Oh, good. Oh, hey. <laughs> no. 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 But and so, where's coming from? Okay. Then, my brother, I want to hear. We got Spurs schema with us. At the horizon. Right. Helicopter still. You say helicopter still. Still, I fire a load of bullets at the helicopter. Right. What are you saying? The, the Earth, the bullets are moving that way, and the helicopters. Still, the Earth's not moving into the... What's well, no, the helicopter's moving with the Earth, because the with atmosphere... The, Earth, the atmosphere <laughs> that the helicopter is in... So look, have a look at it. Explain this to me. Bullets moving under the Earth or under the helicopter. There's the target. What's going on? What's moving under what? They're moving together. What's moving together? The helicopter is moving with the atmosphere that's moving with the Earth. So explain to me Coriolis then. What am I counting? <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost. Watch me. Well, you Coriolis, you know what oh, Coriolis is? Right on. Okay. Well, what am I counting? I'm going to take a shot here. You accounted for the drop of the bullet. The drop? Yeah. Not the turn yeah, of the earth? I, I just want the to be bullet there will drop with gravity. But am I accounting for the curvature, so the spin of the rotation of the earth? I guess so. You guess so? Well, yeah, I guess so. Well, I need to know. I need to know if the Earth is turning under the bullet, under the helicopter. What do you believe is happening? Then? Well, I don't know. I'm asking. Yeah. You've just said. You don't know. I have no well, idea. I, 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 I don't think the Earth is turning. Flip. Yeah. Okay. You said it is turning. I believe it is. Yeah. Right. So I'm asking you, what is turning under what? Is the bullet? Is the Earth turning under the bullet? Is it turning under the helicopter? So I want to ask you. What's that? going on? <laughs> <laughs> Why would the bullet be turning? You're firing a bullet, so it's yeah. got momentum. Okay, so the, yeah, but the what's turning and... How thick is it? Why are you saying what, what's turning? Why would anything be turning? Nothing. I, I don't get you. So nothing is turning? I never said that. I said, why would you assume Is the air turning under the bullet or not? Yes. So is it turning under the helicopter? Yes. So I could just have... So you say, you've just no, said that as well. because the atmosphere is, turning, is moving with the Earth. He's done. <laughs> yeah, he said that. You can't just glaze over the atmosphere is moving with the Earth. Okay, so if the atmosphere is moving over the Earth, then we don't have a Coriolis then? Why wouldn't you have a Coriolis? Because the Earth would be turning underneath the underneath the bullet as the uh, the bullets fired out, right? No. Well, I don't think you understand Coriolis too much. Okay so. then. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But, but, so the argument is Coriolis is the effect the of the drop of yeah. the bullet, not because the turn of the earth. Bullet. It's not the turn of the earth you're saying. It's the effect of the drop of the bullet. So you're saying Coriolis? Oh, is, you're saying Coriolis is not website, uh, the turn of the earth. The effect of, is the effect of the drop of the bullet with the turn of the earth. With the turn of the it's earth. It's not just the turn of the earth. It's with the turn of the earth. Yes, but if I fire, if I'm firing north, yeah. the earth's turning from east to west. Yeah, but because you're in the, I understand now because he's yeah. explained it a bit better. Because you're in the atmosphere, it yeah. will travel with it, but you have to account for that. That's why they shoot right slightly. Yes, but if I'm firing north, let's say. Yeah, but say you're true north. That's why yeah. they'll fire at about three degrees and account for Coriolis because you'll go down and across with the atmosphere. So what am I accounting for then? So let's, say the the bullet. let's say the target is there, yeah. and I'm firing at that target. Yeah. The earth's turning east. Yeah. So you've got to count for a drop, wind. Yeah, drop, that's fine, but not slow earth Slow down turn. the bullet. But not the earth turn. No, why would you slow down the earth turn? Because the bullet, I don't know, I'm just, the bullet I'm just, was in the atmosphere. As this so you don't, a, you don't account for earth turn in Coriolis, is what you're saying, yeah? OK, that's fine. That's all I'm asking, isn't it? Because we were told that Coriolis, they snipers, when they fire, the earth turning underneath the bullet. I got a question for you instead. Yeah. So, if the earth's flat and we all walked over to one side of the earth and we all jumped at the same time, yeah. what would happen? 
<laughs> what do you expect to happen? Well, I mean, I've got. <laughs> if, if we sat there on a desk, in his face, I'm, I'm hoping it would flip. It'd be something cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, what would it? Cutting it would be wicked, wouldn't it? <laughs> I've got to see how, how thick would the Earth be if it's flat? How? How? They said no. They don't know. They've been. Uh, think about it. Since World War Two. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and then they NASA was formed in 1950s. Yeah. They uh, did a bit of exploration. Uh, you got Admiral Bird. You've heard of Admiral Bird? So if you've heard of research Admiral Bird. He had a look around the North Pole South uh, region. Then their NASA's form, they went to the moon. 1969. So they've come back, people are satisfied, oh, the Earth is a ball and all those kind of things. It hasn't been questioned since. Before I forget now, yeah. I've got another question. You said South Pole. So if the North Pole... I didn't Pole... say South Pole, I said the, the Southern region. Southern region. So your compass... Oh, I you then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the compass there I points to your Pole. North. Yeah. And obviously your south is in the opposite direction. So look here on the earth. So does the south just go to the nearest edge? The south is in the opposite to north. But if, if the north is there, on, in, where, where would the north be on a flat earth? In the middle? So you've got a compass on your phone. I, I do, but I'm... No, but so if you look at this map, the north mm. there is the middle, right? The north is in the centre. So if, if the compass... And the, the south is the opposite of wherever yeah. the thing is. So I'm assuming the south is just yeah. the nearest edge. <laughs> No, no, they're, they're, they're learning. I mean, they've been, they've been making stuff up, they've admitted that, but... Uh... <laughs> so what, you, you still think it's a, a globe without any evidence, any proof? Well, no, I, I think there is evidence, and I, I think I do believe... Where's the evidence? proof of any shape? Um, well, the, the ISS, the uh, space station, the landing, yeah. it's just as a globe. How do we verify any of those things? Anyway, That's like saying I can't believe the moon's there because I can see it. I know what? How do you verify it's flat Earth? Yeah. How do you verify? That's what I'm asking you. How do you verify yeah. stuff? With the things anyway, we've sent up into space. Well, yeah. Probes, yeah. the drones. Oh. <laughs> you got a receipt? <laughs> well, come on, give me your best proof for the globe then. Why do you think we, we know we're on a spinning ball? I'll be honest with you, I, I don't feel like I need to prove it at this point. I, I, feel, I feel like it's been proved by quite a few... Um, sorry, I just got a phone call in between. Uh, yes, do it. We are outside Mill Lane, Caroline Street, um, the John Lewis building, and this remarkable statue here. Statue, immense landmark. Given directions. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure if you... I'll let you just ask. Where are we going? Are we going to see Mark Sarskimo? <laughs> I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Who do we want? People don't see that. Well, human vision, you that can only see realize. 42 miles yeah. anyway. Does, um, all the water stay on the planet? They'd be contained, contained. Like, like any water has a container in it. What do you mean, what? <laughs> Me no well, what they've the got, they've got, um, they've got an Antarctic treaty, yeah, that stops people from travelling to the edge. So they've got like all ships and guns and army people all surrounding here. Have you not looked at it? Go and look Google uh, Antarctic treaty, and you'll see. The Antarctic treaty means that nobody can claim Antarctica as a naval base or a right, naval right, base. Or, right. So it's just stopping people from stopping people. claiming it. Stopping yeah, people. Yeah. Governments, if you will. No, no, no fuel. No animals. Stopping people, it's stopping governments claiming it as their own. Stopping people. Well, people can still go to there. You can, you can get an expedition to the Antarctic. Well, he's finding it really hard to, uh, to digest, which is understandable because it is a bit of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we're all finding it a bit hard to digest, but I've got a separate question now. No, but I can see that he sees the truth. He's just listening. Because I know we're going to have to go back to lesson in a minute. Yeah, yeah. But I want to know, right? When you see a foot, uh, like the globe, yeah. as on, you know, when you learn about it in science or yeah. whatever, or in geography, you got the shape of each country, and then they, when they say that's the true shape of the country, yeah. and then when you put it on a map, a flat wall that you tend to get in a calendar, yeah. they say that's wrong, and then you have to look at the one with the special spherical shapes because it's right. So how do you say you're saying no, no, that no, the shape of 
all the countries. Like, oh, you're saying Australia looks like that? No, no, no. We, 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 this is just an illustration. Yeah, an illustration. This is, um, you know, people have different projections. Yeah. No, I, I, I just, I'm a Libyan, not there. I'm assuming Africa to Australia. No. Could you fly that way around? Would it take twice as long as it would? Today? Yeah. If you check his logs, he was meant to do like 12,000 miles and he ended up doing 60,000 miles. He was only meant to do 12,000 miles around Antarctica. 60,000 miles later. That's what he said. And uh, they only went there to show people pictures of a ball. What, what, what do you think of the other planets? But back in between the 1969, before we were born, um, and they've just been there, yeah, a few times. But again, they've never been back there. Um, space travel is not. How would a rocket work in space? You explain that to me. What does it push off? Propulsion. What's that, sorry? How does a rocket work in a vacuum? So I have if no I take, idea. I'm not a rocket scientist. Yeah. How do you, you know, know, you know what a vacuum works. is, don't you? Yeah, I do know what a vacuum is. So, do you have an ignition in the vacuum? Ignition. You light in a vacuum. You need oxygen. But then again, like you said, we're not engineers who work in space. And well, you're an engineer. That's, that's oh, <laughs> he's got me there, he's got me there. <laughs> okay, no, 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 ignore, ignore these two. The 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 what about the... Um... <laughs> what? I like. no, I mean, well, you, you, you want the answer as to why aren't these photos... Uh, why are the photos stitched together, I'm assuming, or, or patched up? And, yeah. So when you're told, you go, ah, yeah, it's fake, it's, it's, it's not real. Yeah, look, it's there, look, right there. He's got uh, Simmons there, he casually draws them, uh, paints them. But then the only photographs you could really get of the Earth as a complete sphere like that would be from the moon. Or further afield, I'm assuming. Oh yeah, that's underwater. We have. Surely there is one. <laughs> and it's pretty ugly, if you ask me. So they've, they've got the ones from the ISS, which are stitched together from what? How, how far out is it? A couple of... Yeah, so it's stitched together. So it's fabricated. But it's not fabricated. It's not... Yeah, well, exactly. So Because they can't take it from the ISS. The Earth is so massive, you can't exactly take a photograph that far out. Unless you go that far away. It's called Epic, and it's about a million miles out. And it, uh, it is perfectly aligned between the sun and the earth. And that's meant to be taking, uh, I believe, pictures every half an hour or so. Right. You know, like, and, uh, well, what do you like to do? Well, why would they send a satellite out there to take a picture? Again, like a gentleman over there, I'm not a rocket scientist, but rather than um, his explanation behind what science is. And it seems like if you don't know what is the right answer, everything is revolved around science. I'm sure that question has been asked. What has science said? How things are propelled through space? Right, an equal and opposite reaction. Yeah, so like what he was trying to get to when he was speaking to these lads here was like, what is, that, what is this proportion? What is it pushing against? There's nothing there. You know the way you like proportion works in our atmosphere and, we, and how our boat propels itself in water. But when it gets to space, what's it pushing against? That's the way it's meant to work like that. So we're just asking questions and saying, look, you're, you're giving us. And have you been given answers? Asking, you're asking questions, you're saying, yeah. So, so, so the answers you've been given are. Well, eh? that makes no sense. Yeah. That's what we're so, so the, you asked, I'm assuming a scientist, how propulsion works in space, and he went, ah, it makes no sense. Well, I'm saying it makes no sense to me. So what was the answer then? If, if you're trying to help me understand. Well, 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 to help you understand, we want you to go to a couple of websites and, uh, and then But can you help me understand? You, you, I, we're, we're all put on the spot. We're put on the spot without, without having any research, and you're asking us to provide our answers. I'm assuming you've got the answer. No, I don't have the answer. So you don't 
don't know how propulsion works. No, in space, and I don't, yet you're and, 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 and I don't know what it is that we're standing on. I haven't got a clue. Okay. I know that land is observably flat. Okay, you know, so I don't know what it is. So we're not claiming that we've got all the answers. But those that have asking, gone up there and well, said, asking, well, okay, let's see what else is we're there. We're asking let's questions. See. That's what. That's what we're doing. And the answers you're given, you, 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 don't, you can't even remember it because it's not pertinent to your cause, your your argument. No, no. It's not so how does propulsion work? How have you got that? Uh, what answer did you get with how okay, propulsion okay. works? Well, I've had lots of different answers, and one of the answers would be, um, oh, it supplies its own oxygen, it supplies its own chamber, and it and when it ignites, um, what's it, the fuels within its chamber, it pushes off the gases already exploded within its own chamber, and it does the cycle over and over. And, and why is that rubbish? This is not because there's a thing called uh, free expanse. Okay, so this free expanse means that you know, like the whole vacuum of space, anything that is. Is, uh, if something is exploding, you know, it's got its own oxygen, its own fuel, and that. If that's exploded, it's just gonna, it's just gonna disappear. First question was, what's the shape of the Earth? Try and equalise with that. Who made it? The Earth's not being still propagated. It still needs. It still needs. But if that expansion is happening through a cylinder, then the expansion would be through whichever exit is coming out of, which would propel this weightless thing. But that's part of the craft. Itself. Right. So if you've got so something that's its own self. Okay. So if you've got a, um, if, if you've got a, uh, it's like me. I want to go. That you can get an underwater scuba device that's spinning and propelling. For, yeah. Well, it's, it's a, a funnel. It's, it's funneling through, like a jet engine would do through our atmosphere. Understandable. There's no atmosphere in space. But would that not put that expansion of explosion gas? The oxygen which is self-contained propel this weightless object forward because you don't like the answer you've given an answer and you don't like it you, you have you offered something else other than that it's fake i don't like the answer so it has to be fake i don't know enough to do that I don't know enough. yet you're trying to tell us to understand no, 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 i'm not trying to tell you that i'm asking i'm trying to get you to critically think and to challenge it yourselves you know like no 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 I, just because i don't know the answer there's a lot more learned people than me you know like okay. I, I'm not the, what's it, uh, um, so the, the, Professor Brian Cox is a learned person. Okay. Well, uh, in his in his cartoon fields, yeah. Cartoon so, fields. Well, he's talking yeah, about space and he's talking about um, what's it, things that he can't prove. It's kind of all theories and, and animations and paintings. But how can you prove? Well, that, well, I'm saying he saying, can't. So you challenge something without proof. Sorry? You're challenging something without proof. Oh, well, I do have proof, but not on you that. You have proof that we, we live yeah, on a yeah, flat yeah, 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 yeah. You can do this yourself. This is something that you can do. Yeah, this is where, this is where I um, started from. Oh, sorry, if you fold that. Okay. <laughs> The proof is there has to be a calculation for the uh, what's it for the what's the curvature drop. There yes. would be a calculation. Yeah. It's it's a spherical trigonometry based on Pythagorean's theorem. It says for every mile there should be this eight inches drop. So it goes eight inches, thirty-two inches, seventy-two inches, that and just sense, gets yeah. bigger and bigger. So sorry, it's eight inches per square. I should say. Okay. So based on this maths, and this is maths that I've come across. Uh, I've been to Cambridge, I've been to Oxford. We've spoken to an awful lot of people, and they agree on this. And it, it does get a bit funny on the longer distances, you know, a thousand miles over. But up until up, up until then, it's actually pretty accurate. This is the Isle of Man, and stood on uh, Blackpool uh, or it, Promenade yes. on a good clear day. That's a really good clear day. You can see the Isle of Man, okay? And uh, we were in Ireland uh, a couple of days ago, and they said that they could see Scotland. Right. But anyway, based on that, on this calculation, two and a half thousand feet should be hidden. The highest okay. mountain is only 2,000 feet, but it's there, they caught it. Well, this is Dover to Calais. Uh, I'll, I'll just repeat, uh, I'll get through that. So, so from Block, Blackpool Promenade, well, what's the elevation of the... Yeah, that was taken into consideration. When you put your calculations in, you put your elevation height as well when we do the calculation okay so this one here um, this was a uh, Dover to Calais so when you're Calais you can see the White Cliffs of Dover you're not meant to see the White Cliffs of Dover 300 feet should be hidden the highest peak is 350 feet you should maybe just see a little peak about 50 feet but you can see 
that's 273 miles. Three miles should be hidden, yet you can still see land. Go to Tenerife, you can see all the land. I, just, I, I looked into that and then I thought, no, I'm going to do my own observation. I'll try this myself and work it out myself. I went down to my local beach at Brixham in Devon. I looked across the sea. How are you going to verify that? Well, if you're zooming in, are you going closer? Well, that's right. You, know, uh, you can't go around corners, can you? No, but if you're zooming, you're going closer. So your position wouldn't be as far back as you would have initially thought. So based on that calculation, I, it's meant to be 50 feet or so below the coast. I shouldn't be seeing anyone on the beach, but I can. So I did my own observation and test and that. And so everybody gets involved in this. They all do this because it's like something that you, it's practical. It's something that you can do yourself and that once you, you uh, are comfortable and happy with the maths and that was it lots of people well, yeah you check the maths out and then you do your own observations you know yourself there's bound to be people that will yeah they, kind of some people say that it's not you know, that, that this isn't accurate it's not real kind of yeah there is because no, we've say, only got your word that yeah 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 and, yeah definitely don't believe the anything we've got you have to go word that they went to yeah space. yeah no no this is where you so have to go away yourself your word to say that these are true and accurate okay. and, and not a higher elevation. And that's why, than, don't believe me in the street, you go away and you check this out yourself. So, wasn't it a, 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 a flat earther? I remember the, the, the chap over there saying about a documentary. Wasn't it a flat earther that wanted to disprove the globe by using a, a laser gyroscope? A uh, yeah, something like that. Something like that. But it was, uh, was it not disproven? High, well, it was a highly edited video, you know, because that's what they do. It's an edited video. But was it a, it, it wasn't genuine. It was okay. not. So his 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 experiment was well be, be, because that there was further experiments in that, but they weren't, and they were told, and we, uh, they were given the re reasons why. Because it, what you see in there was the first take on that. It wasn't the second, third, fourth. When you do okay. experiments, not you kind of do. You don't just do one. You do. Lots so he didn't of repeat it. It was repeated, but not on film. Oh, sorry, okay. They didn't include it in the film. Okay, and the the repeat was what? There's no. Curve, then. There's no. I, I, I can't really remember. Surely he, he, does talk, he talks be... about. No, he talks about it online. I can't remember here on the street. Right. He talks about it online. So, conclusive. So th this chap has said he had a conclusive experiment that would once and for all determine whether there's a curvature on the Earth due to a just edited. certain it was edited degrees to make of drift stupid. or something like that. Uh, 15 degree drift. Something like that, yes. And the experiment that he done with that highly sensitive gyroscope that he wanted, he, he asked Well, there was that. an explanation for it, but it was never included. But he said if we got this highly sensitive laser gyroscope yeah. that if the Earth is the size and the curvature and whatever the globe people do, uh, uh, claim, yeah. then it should be a, a 14, 15, 16, I don't know, degree drift. This is what the media this does. What, yeah, but is that not what happened? They're lying to you. You're the public and they're lying to you and they're not but giving you all the facts. But he done the experiment. If he did the experiment did an and the experiment the shown that it's an it was a 15 a degree drift, yeah. okay. and he did why it wouldn't again? that be uh, well, that's enough what, for you? Uh, that's what we're saying. You, you, you're missing the whole point, what I'm saying. You know, like, no, no, it, 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 it's a challenge. You, you, you challenge the globe, you challenge the flat earth. Okay. And when a flat earth... Do you think they should just do one test and then walk away? Should it just be one test? If, it's be, if that's what he said... So Edison was it making the light bulb and he uh, failed 10,000 times. He should have just quit after one time. He wasn't proving anything. But that's what I'm saying, but, and yet we've got light. So, he said, so th this chap said, I need this device and it will conclusively prove Prove, okay. that if we get a, I, I believe it was 15 degree drift on the gyroscope. They're misinforming that, you. Oh. Disinformation, they're misinforming you. Look, look, the, what's it? National Geographic, they did exactly the same, a similar test. They had a, what's it, a boat oh and... Um, yeah, you had a recall that one as well. Did yeah. you see it? So they had the boat. The and you could, see, you could see some of the... And the laser the, was... And you can see some of the lines on the flag. It was kind of and, like missing the, below the, the level. The, the laser was higher than what it started Please out. Please go at. back and watch it again. You will see all the water higher behind the boat. All the sea still just carries on, and yet it was behind the curvature at the front of the boat. It's a, it's a trick, and no one caught it. We we didn't catch it when we were seeing it. You go and watch it again with some more, more open eyes, and you'll see that the sea was higher than the boat behind it. That's what I'm saying. They they trick you, you know, like, and, and that's what editing does, you know, like we're not in. Uh, no, 
Oh, that's a chap with a gyroscope. So you've seen that? That's Walter Lewin. Is that the chap that wanted the gyroscope test then? No, that's not. No, no, it's not. But that's Walter Walter Lewin, a famous uh, physics um, professor. Okay? He says that gyroscopes are not affected by gravity. Okay? So if that's the case, and these um, and these artificial horizon, okay, that artificial horizon is what you know, like planes used to. Use. They use something kind of different. They use the ring laser now. But, um, but yeah, that's the that, that's the one that the chap yeah. wanted to, to get his hands on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so that's what they kind of used to use. And it, it, it actually proved that the calibration of that 15 mile an hour drift. The, sorry. You can see a flight You see that. But if it's going to go right the way round and underneath a ball, if it's Australia, he says gravity it has no play in this, it's rigid in space, you know, like, so this plane should be different as now. That should invert. It should go upside down. So, but it doesn't. If a gyroscope, so so why would the the, the, the chap want a gyroscope to prove the flat Earth? No, it's not to do the flat Earth. This is this is just normal. Or to disprove. N- nothing to disprove anything. Okay. He's doing a lecture online, and you can go and check no, no, that out. No, no, no. I, 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 I keep referring back to that fella that, that wanted this highly precise laser gyroscope. To you need to have a chat with him then. Right. Because I, I mean, so I take it you guys I don't, 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 don't technically don't know like no, that. No, it, it, it's not a. I'm not here to score points and win arguments with you. No, no, no. I'm, no, no. I'm, I'm here I, to I, just I'm, give you a little yeah, bit of yeah. information. Hopefully, you're interested enough to check it out. And, and, That's and, it. I'm not here to win points. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been proven that there's no. Ooh. Let's have a little look about. He, he takes it personally. Yeah. Back to back to Schemo. But we know that we know that temperature will give us a, a different a different result, right? What? A temperature. So we have a hot air balloon. Where's it going? It's going off. So it's nothing to do with gravity, yeah. So temperature is. We keep talking about a force and we don't have a mechanism for this. So we know a push, applied pressure. Yeah. But pull, where is this pulling force? We don't really understand how gravity works yet. Yeah. Really. Yeah. But that's alright. So what do we know about it? Yeah, British. I'm not a quantum physicist fucking it's fine to still observe it. Yeah. Okay, so describe to me this pulling force, this pull. I don't you don't need a pulling force, that's the thing. You just said gravity pulls. I didn't say gravity pulls. I said if you're close enough, dra- gravity like a, like a magnet it will pull. No, not like a magnet. Not like a magnet. If it's a massive enough object, yeah, it will attract you towards it. You've got a gravity. Okay, but well. what's the mechanism behind <laughs> yeah. it? Though? It's a force. I don't. I'm, I say that I, I do. I didn't. Say it's only real, real world forces, real world <laughs> applied forces. Yeah. So okay. if I apply, what are you talking grab, about when you say real world forces? Real world. So if I grab this, I'm applying a pressure to this. Yeah. It's a real force. If I push a car, drive a car, that's a real force. Yeah, okay. You will say there's a pull. A pull. I never said it was a pull. You said gravity. When you I get close, it, it, it looks right. Gravity can also slingshot So it's like a magnet. Mm-hmm. Not, no. Magnets no. attract. Yeah, but it can also slingshot you. Okay. Really? That's how they got the side of uh, the Voyager <laughs> spacecraft so far. So what's our so explanation fast. for this gas pressure next to the vacuum? Well, what's your explanation? It's not impossible. It's not possible. It would fill the space, wouldn't it? I believe it is possible because it's a gradual a gradual change. Gradual. Like, so, further, so you've got a little bit of gas next to vacuum up here, yeah? No, I'm not saying it. You've got a little bit. There's no like border. You, I'm expecting you want a border. Like, I don't know. I'm asking how do you have gas pressure without a container? <coughs> the further you go up, the yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Guessing, yeah. less dense the air gets. Gets less, yeah, okay. There's less and therefore it will gradually disappear. Mm-hmm. So how is it not being pulled? How does it stop like that? What's pulling the atmosphere back down on gravity? Gravity, gravity. 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 Yeah. So do you have a citation a, for gravity is a force? Or just a do you have a citation? For you? No, no, gravity is a force. Your claim, you said it's a force. Yeah. Well, didn't, didn't that guy say it? Who? Newton. Newton. Well, that was the, uh, that was That's the experience. Not, no, that one. Yeah. That guy there. Yeah, Newton. That boy. Look at this. What? You can demonstrate mass attracting mass. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they've already done that with really large objects on chains. You know that? No, no, no. Yeah, no. That. I'm actually never like 100 percent sir. Try and find me something with uh, massive tracks. No data. I have no data. <laughs> I don't know your password. Yeah.
But that's what I mean. People have people have ideas. Yeah, they think uh, there's mass attracts mass. They think the Earth is turning. They think the Earth is curving. They think space is a real thing. So when you ask, you don't believe in space. But it makes a lot more sense than what you're saying. Though. I don't have any beliefs. I like to know stuff. If I don't know it, I don't know. It. Yeah. I don't, I'd rather not believe it. Yeah. But if you could demonstrate, you could demonstrate space. I don't speak Italian. As a real thing, as a real phenomenon, scientific, scientifically, well then there'd be no problem. Right? There'd be no issue with that. Wait, what? Sorry. So we're looking for scientific evidence, uh, scientific evidence of uh, gas pressures next to a vacuum of the heliocentric model. <coughs> I'd like to just ask one question. Can I just ask one thing though? I, like I understand wanting to look for evidence and things, yeah. but then to go as far as saying the Earth is flat, I understand yeah. if you wanted to go as far as being uh -huh. like, oh, the globe is a lie. Mm. Fair enough. Well, I would disagree. Yeah. You say, oh, I don't have enough evidence. It's fair enough. But to then say the Earth is flat. Why aren't you just arguing that the globe is a lie rather than that the Earth is flat? Because I don't feel like you have much evidence of that either, though. Well, water. water. Uh, yeah, but then we could just say, well, blah, 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 or whatever. No, no, no. Like, water. Can you make water curve around the exterior of an object? I'm not massive. <laughs> like, I can't do that. What's surface tension? You can get a bubble, like uh, water sticking to a leaf. Sticking? That's, a diff that's different then, yeah? Sticking. I don't think sticky is what it is. That's surface tension, yeah. That's not not um, being attracted to the object, right? No, that's, yeah, that's not. That's not, yeah. That's so we're looking for that attraction, yeah, that, that gravitational attraction that they tell us. You see? Yeah, but you, you will never be able to see. You'll never be big enough to experience gravity at a planetary level. So maybe you, want to... you should be able to test it. <laughs> you should be able to test it in the laboratory, right? Yeah, but you've got problems with sizes of things, though. So. They detected gravity waves. They won a Nobel Prize for it. Two years ago, didn't they? Sort of like Who's they? They, we. I don't know. Group, I can't remember. I don't know them personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about time to start relying on yourselves. Yeah. yeah, no, because if I'm just going to rely on only myself and ignore what other people are saying, I'm not going to make any progress. Well, you do you kind of have to work together. Scientific community, all those. Yeah, yeah, like, I can't work on my own. I have to listen to what somebody else has. And I'm going to have to put but the faith don't. in... You don't. No, but I'm going to have to put the faith in other people, any other people to some degree, because, you know, none of this was possible on our own. It depends on how wild the claim is. But it's not a particularly... Like, I feel like it makes a lot of sense to try and explain things. Like, again, I agree that you're trying to say the globe is a lie, but then this flat earth stuff... No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, if it's a wild claim... You can make claims all the time, How right? do you define wild? Wild. That, yeah, like, the Earth's turning. Yeah. But why, why is that wild? Well, how do we know the Earth's turning? Well, who who would suggest the Earth's turning? For what reason and why? What do you mean for what reason? So and you just you, you're born into this world, night and day. Yeah. So you see the sun move overhead. Yeah. Why would you conclude that you are turning? There is no search. Isn't that what the the ancient Greeks, right, so you or you yourself would not conclude the Earth is turning, right? No, because it was no point me trying to rediscover everything over and over but if you were and over today, again. If you were today to try to find out how the Earth is turning, how would you go about it? Well, fuck knows, because I'm not a physicist in that area, but I'm going to trust somebody who's a physicist because it makes load, like it just makes sense for me to work with them and yeah, do that. I don't know. That's, that's you would, would you be able to show Earth turn? Prove a demonstration? Uh, no, Isn't that a gyroscope problem? Flat Earth. Oh, don't go down that rabbit hole. Globe lie, yeah. Globe lie, yeah. What does it mean? I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> It means we've been lied to about the shape of the Earth. Have you found a paper about gravity yet? Oh, a paper? I don't understand it. I'm not smart enough. What is the shape of the Earth? Oh, I've been spending 10 minutes trying to go it's, back. It's more of an opinion, really, now, isn't it? It was brought up as part of a Senate subcommittee where they were asking them, they said, uh, you know, they wanted to deal with the problem. You know, the, uh, they said, uh, um, it, was, it was initially addressed as the fake news problem, but of course they brought up immediately the three the three ties things were snake oil and snake oil equivalents, 9-11, Flat Earth, and that's when they, you know, and they were kind of laughing, kind of tongue in cheek with each other. It's like Google's, like, oh yeah, we'll we'll figure out a way to deal with the whole flat Earth thing, you know, we'll recommend it less, but they weren't going to shut it down entirely. So that's what I'm kind of kind of gunning for. Right? Yeah, well, that's the issue. I mean, is because um, uh, within the within search algorithms and stuff like that, uh, with, with YouTube, it, it favors watch time. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it favors watch time, and actually, what happens? Okay, can I give you one thing as well? So, I'll give you my phone number if you want, and you'll say I can't. There is, there's no way to say yes or no. Sorry? There's no way to say yes or no. There is no actual answer. There is no actual answer. There is more evidence. It's not red. 
I won't bombard him yet. Let him, um, let him engage by himself first. Hi, I haven't spoken to you. Hi, uh, who is it? James. James. Hi, James. Oh, was it you that was taking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Gonna, yeah, I was originally just going to pick him up. About three o'clockish or? Yeah. I mean, whenever. I mean, I'm good all day. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Just when he uh, had a heart attack and he says, "Yeah, we're not sure." Well, I mean, it's, I think his plane's about five ish. Five yeah, like it takes, it's a good half an hour to get there. And so, yeah, I'm just in a car park. Quite an expensive one, but yeah, but it's close by. <laughs> yeah, quite close by. Yeah, just, that's the problem. Yeah. Isn't it? You know, like we had to do a park and ride in. You know, like to keep the price down. So is he ready to go from here? Or yeah, well, his bags there. Too much. Yeah, 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 his bags there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Well, sorry, <laughs> James. Tell us a little bit about you. Yourself, you know, like, where did you get involved in this? Oh, I don't want to say too much on there, uh, but I won't say go too personal. But um, I, yeah, I've been involved uh, or been interested for about three years. Um, I first obviously got hooked from 9 11, um, researched, um, looked at them, looked moon landings, uh, and then watched uh, obviously um, Bart C. Burrell's film. Oh, right, okay. And then yeah, but the connection is, is there was a, an interview with Patricia and David Weiss, and they interviewed Bart Sprell. So that was my first video, and I thought, of course, crazy lunatics. Um, and that hooked me in then, so then I looked at some videos, I thought, can't be right. Um, and here I am, in Cardiff. How long did it take before you think, hello, they're onto something here? I'll probably... A couple of months, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, when did you actually come out and told your family? Um, yeah, uh, around then. I, I, went, I went quite slow in. Oh, you're, oh right. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. with your family, you did just blurt it out. No, 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 no. I just. I did. It's a mistake. <laughs> so you should never do that if anyone's listening. My dad's the funniest because I talked to him about 11 first, and he went. You're, you know, you're insane. You're mad. Of course it isn't. Seven months after, he went, James, you're right about 9-11. So I said to him about Flat Earth, and I'm waiting for that day. It's a tough one. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you have to, you have to discover this on your own. You see, you know, like almost, you can be led to it, but you still have to discover it by yourself. I think, I think. In, within a few months, they'll say to me, yeah, do you know what, boy, you're right. But of course he's older, he's had more years of indoctrination and stuff like that. And I'm UK Truth 222 on YouTube. Yeah, that's me. Oh, right, that's that's, oh there you go. <laughs> say hello, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, as soon as I knew that you was having the conference, um, well, I'd spoken to Robin beforehand. Um, and just said, what can I do to help out? I'm not very good at this activism malarkey, but I thought I'd give it a go. Yeah, yeah. Just have... You did exactly what you should do. Just, a, just hand out the yeah, yeah. and then and then you kind of slide into a conversation. Act by accident. Yeah. Yeah, like, um, you got to hear Tapper, yeah? Tapper 777. He told me on the phone, he said, you know what, I'll, I'll give out some leaflets today. I'm not going to talk to anyone. Yeah. Is he uh, Is he just hand a leaflet to Tapper? He's fully engaged. It just happens. You know, uh, but yeah, no, no, I, yeah, I hope you get involved in that. Uh, yeah, I did, I just had one conversation. You did? He seemed quite interested, he was, as in, he looked like he wanted a, quite a long conversation. Yeah. Um, and after a couple of points of, um, he said, well, look, you know, how how can everyone be lying? Oh, thank you, man. Yeah. He said, you know, how can all these millions of people be lying? I said, well, does it really need to be that many people? Yeah, yeah. You know, because all the Greenwich towners and everything, they don't need to know. Um, I said, all it really needs to know is the alleged people that have been far enough away to see the shape, you know, um, and that's not many. Uh, and then we got on to uh, seeing things farther than we can, and they went, okay, I'll go, and he just left. So, I don't know, he, he wanted, I think, a longer conversation, but as soon as I brought things up that we could see things further away, he just went, okay, you're not going to change my mind. See, that's the biggest one for me. It's, that, it's the land that we should be able to see. I mean, that was huge for me once I realised that. Um, yeah, I know other people like think, you know, like, oh, maybe it's water being level and flat or, or something, or or some people like the space. That thing, uh, oh, I didn't, did you watch uh, Fake in Space with Paul on the uh, plane? Have you seen that series? So Paul on the plane, Fake yeah, yeah, yeah. in Space, it's, uh, it, 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 it's, 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 it's blinding, it's so blindingly obvious once he shows it. Yeah, this whole thing is obvious, as soon as you look into it. The previous thought of being on a spinning ball, that's what...
What's going to say? Yes. Um, it is now, and today I still kick myself. I do. I wake up in the morning, I think I'm going out to do some activism. I kick myself and think, this is real still. It's still real. I still haven't changed my mind. Yeah. But people, uh, what's the, what's the um, expression? People believe what is presented to them, and they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, that's, that's what I like to look into, the psychology behind it. People believe what they're told. It's amazing. I mean, people think that Coronation Street and EastEnders, those people exist. Sorry, Brian. You shouldn't have said that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But some people do. And, and so, you know... There you go. I'm hoping my cousin. I'm hoping my cousin Brian's seen that. <laughs> Why is that? He's a, he's a Coronation Street mad fan. Yeah. 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 I grew up with it, you know, like EastEnders, Emmerdale, Coronation Street. You know, me, me mum and dad, we'd have Dallas on and Dynasty and all of that rubbish. You know, like yeah, we were we were huge soap fans and bought into all of it. And, like wow. You know, like, and now I can't even watch the news now. Yeah. Like, you know, like, it's just, or, you, or you do watch it and you just find yourself going and yeah. not believing it. Yeah. You, know, it's just, yeah, all right. you do have a different that's, outlook looking at it, though, don't you? That's what they're pushing now, is it? Yeah. And what I find fascinating about the news is you know, there'll be some big scare and they'll be focused on one thing two weeks later. It's still going on, but they're focused on something else. Yeah. And you're like, well, what happened to that story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because people just worry about what's on the news at that point. They forget what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like the Epstein case. Yeah. yeah. Just, it, then just, if it's out of sight, out of mind. If it's not on the news, they don't worry about it. Yeah. There you go, that's James. <laughs> UK Truth, 22. There's the record. We've we've made a record of this day. And, you know, good or bad, whatever has been said, whether it's right or wrong, there's no editing. It's just raw. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Have you had a, 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 any conversations? Brief conversations. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. You tell us about it later. Yeah. Good. Good. Just basic stuff. All right. Literally, I mean, Carrie Poppins and you know people going places. Let's see. You know, I want to see if uh, Tapa let us in on that conversation. Oh, hey, Jason. You know, good day, Ali. Walked all the way. Oh, so what the hell are they? They ran away. They you turned the back. Hey, hey, get back here. <laughs> I don't want a camera in my face. I'm all right, thanks. <laughs> you turned your back and they ran away. <laughs> I love that. Uh, oh, I'm glad you found us. Yeah, I found you. Yeah. yeah, good. Thank you. So if you don't know, this is uh, Tapper777 you know, on YouTube. Uh, his name's Stuart. Yeah. Too windy for us today, oh, so is, yeah. hence the, yeah. the modification. Oh, right, you found it. Yeah, I found it, yeah. yeah. It's not nightmare where you've never been before, like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So no, no. We, we've dug 13 kilometers down the deepest, the Russians did, uh, below that they just don't know. Do you, you, deep, do you carry on deeping into they infinity? They, they couldn't get any down further than 13 kilometers. Why, though? Because their tools started to break. Well, it was engineer, why, pure engineering why, why, why practicalities. It, it was too hot. Yeah. Why was it too hot? Too much pressure, yeah. It's too close to the centre, right? It's it's 13 kilometers. Metal. I'm not saying it was like dead <laughs> close to the centre. 13 kilometers is too but close was, to the centre. Was, the further well, it go down, no, the hotter no, it gets. But your, but your theory, there's, there's an infinite amount of mass. There's us, and underneath us is an infinite. A, a, no, that's why they dug down to well, find out. Well, it can out. either be yes or no, can't it's it? It's not yes or no. They dug it, down to find out how far 
Okay, yeah, well, Van Corp, answer his question, though. Is there an infinite amount of mass? Is that what How would we know unless we dig down further than 13 kilometres? Yeah, but we can't. We can't. So how can we know? Just should I lie to you and just make up, make it up? No, but there's proof. Oh. There's, there's, there's lots of things I can't show you that are yeah. true, mind. I mean, like what? Well, a, a million, a million things. We talk about depends molecules. We talk about molecules. Talk about chemistry. Talk about physics. Most of these things you can't actually see. How medicine works, or depends if it's a wild claim or not, right? Yeah, but again, how do you define well, but, but you're, you're, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, your claim that there's the infinite the mass underneath us is, is pretty ridiculous. Senses. Outside of your senses, but you can't always trust your senses. Really that's right. That's right. 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 But you just said you. That's right. So if it's outside my senses, and then you have a wild claim, then you should demonstrate that to me. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we build machines to do it because the but human senses to, aren't good enough. And we're gonna have to prove yeah, that you're right, every that's time. Right. All the time, because you got to at some point just. It's what? tricky because it's as though you want me to prove everything to you every single time and to every individual. No, from what just you're any, any wild claims that may be, um, then they should be proven, right? Otherwise, it's a belief. Otherwise, it's just yeah. a religion, yeah. Okay, and with so you guys religious? Have, no, not religious. So you don't want any beliefs, right? You want to know the facts, yeah. the truth, scientific, scientific facts. Right now, none of you have any scientific facts. You only have beliefs. Give me a fact, some scientific fact right now. We're standing on a wall. <laughs> Give me a fact right now, not a belief. Uh, the Earth's spherical. No, a fact. That's oh, that's a fact. A fact. Verify it now. How do, we, how do we verify it? I could drop something to the ground. Yeah. I could maybe measure the gravity if I had a, uh, gravity? The, the, the force between the mass and the, the Earth. We could, we could measure that. What, what if it's. No, but not the one from, say, gravity. Gravity's gravity not a force. Yeah. Who's telling you it's a force? Gravity can't do work. Gravity not doesn't have a, a mechanism behind it. You see. Gravity is proportional to the mass. It's, a, it's, a, it's an attractive force between mass. Like a magnet, you mean? Yeah, that's not that's not an unreasonable. So Earth is a big magnet. No, I'm not saying I mean, that, but as, as an analogy, uh, yeah, it actually is in, in a way, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Earth is a big magnet. It is. Yeah. Because we're not dying of cancer. But that's a different issue entirely. So the, the ball is a giant, huge magnet, yeah? That's why we're... No, that, that's, no, that's incorrect. That is exactly the opposite of what I said. I said that that's a different thing entirely. And so what, what if you're going to have a discussion think, with us, I, I, think I would rather that you, as I gave you your time, yeah. that you take your. No, he said, he said, he said, it was, uh, he said, uh, it's uh, like a magnet. Yeah. It's, 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 it's similar. It's similar. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not, not saying you saying that. Different. I'm not saying you saying that. I'm saying that he's. I'm trying to find out what this gravity is. And if it's a force, if it's a mechanical force, if we can find out how it works. Yeah, because we know push is an applied pressure. Yeah. So we can tell me on the force, I press, but this pulling. How does that work? There's a pretty good university here. We could go to talk to this physics department. <laughs> well, if you can get me a teacher, if you can get me a, oh, a, physics, never come, a professional yeah. and explain. I'd like to talk about something that, if you don't mind, that we can but, actually like that we can actually like make progress on. Okay. There's a camera there anyway. Okay. In the staircase thing that you were talking about, <laughs> you know, you were making quite a lot of progress. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily call it progress. But, but well, I think was, you conceded actually. I think I don't you, think you did concede. I think so. I would else disagree came entirely. Like I would actually say that your entire foundation was actually building up my point. The way that you speak about the staircase is the yeah. very same way that the Earth itself curves. Okay. The idea of there being like a reduction in elevation yeah. from your perspective, because uh -huh. you're standing upright, we yeah. call it. Like this is um, this is the same effect as having a staircase and being too far from the edge of it. The staircase section that you're on is flat, sure, but you go closer and more of it is revealed to you as you look down. Correct. The fact that you, as you go up, yeah. more is revealed to you is because of the curvature of the Earth, because it widens your field of view. I'm not arguing with that. I'm arguing about the position of... But you were, head. is the issue. Yeah, you were. No, no, my, 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 uh, my uh, contention is the way we look. Do we look down to see that, or do we look straight ahead? We can look in any direction, really, because it's not... All right, take it, yeah. <laughs> but it's, uh, like... Because at the bottom of the stairs, you've got to look down to see the bottom step, right? Right, just right. the same way that when you're higher in the sky, you need you're to You're saying look you're down looking down, yeah? So I'm saying to you yeah. that in... The higher you go, you will, you can keep your head straight directly forward, never look down, and you will see land in front of you. Can I? I would argue that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you saying I, your scale? Okay. Yeah. So let's use this diagram here. Okay. Now let's use this diagram here. At this scale. The higher you go. Do you know? 
at this scale, at the I mean, International Space Station, wouldn't you, you wouldn't even be allowed, able to see it because it's so close yeah. at this scale. Okay. So how are you meant to see, like, by, just by going up? Up. Let's say you want to go up, you're here, mm -hmm. and you want to see something here. Yeah. You'd have to go up so far, like yeah. here more or less, yeah. to be able to see someone here. Right. But you know how far that is? I'd probably hit yeah, by the moon. What, what I'm trying to suggest yeah. to you is, what I'm suggesting is that when you go up, yeah. to see here, you have to look down. Yes. yes. And I'm saying to you, you will never ever look down when you see the, the land in front of you. I mean, that's I quite would... a claim that you have no basis for anyway. I've been in planes, I've been in balloons. Yeah, but see, I, just, exactly I just said I planes, I know. I, know. I would say that when I'm in a plane, if I look straight across, yeah. the horizon's not going to be at the same eye level as it is when I'm standing straight. And if the Earth is flat and it goes off, goes on, even if it doesn't go on infinitely, there should be an edge point um, that again, I should be able to yeah, yeah. see because it's flat and because I am above all of yeah. the land. No, again, but I look, simply look, cannot look see at this, Look at this white look, look at this white band. This is the atmosphere. Yeah. All right. It's sure. very difficult to see through the atmosphere. Yes. Yeah? So you're not going to see through layers and layers of atmosphere, are you? I mean. You can't see through a cloud, can right you? There, what you well, you can actually see through clouds using well, different wavelengths. Now, like, can we see through... Yeah, you can. So infrared, you can see further and further. We have a world record. It doesn't have to be infrared either. It can be a variety of different wavelengths. It can be yeah. also be um, reflected off of the clouds. Like, you yeah. don't... Because the Earth is curved, you cannot plot a straight path. No, no, you keep saying curved without any measurements or any demonstration. Yeah, but just well, allow him for one moment because you keep saying flat and you're not giving me. I didn't say flat. I said I, I haven't okay, said. Okay, whatever. That. You keep giving me shapes. Let's just go you keep with this telling for a me moment. That the atmosphere doesn't work how it does, though. That's yeah. the biggest problem here: is that you're claiming that it's either too diffuse. You haven't used that word, but I'm going to, okay. you know, yeah. either at a distance mm -hmm. the gas diffuses the light too much. Yeah. Uh, in which case, what we would get is simply a bigger telescope, and okay. then we would see it in greater detail. Uh, the other issue that you've mentioned is that whether it's foggy or, you know what's interesting, even temperature differences can change that, but they're a very function of the way that our world works, in that yeah. the temperatures, when they change, change the weather on the other side of the globe. The curvature yeah. is a big part of even the weather and the atmosphere itself. Yeah. The reason the atmosphere behaves as a lens okay. is because it is curved, not because it is flat. No, because if you get a flat block of air, yeah. the refractive index of flat air is yeah. not going to be the same yeah. as air through I'm curved not, I, What you're saying is right if you can verify the globe. So if you have a measurement... No, I'm no, not no, asking no, no, you no, to no, verify no, no, the globe. I don't think, I don't think so at all. You're giving me an explanation based solely on a sphere that hasn't no. been demonstrated. No, 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 I think this is... And this you're giving me no isolation. explanation based on the idea that the atmosphere is simply cloudy. That's, that's, what, that's, we not... that's what we observe. We see... We have observations where you can see ships, uh, buildings on one day, and on the next day you can't see them at all. Absolutely That's the right. That's Absolutely. the atmosphere, right? Wait, 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 wait. And on some other days you can see the entire building at the bottom. Right, so on the perfect day you should see the entire thing. Yeah. And we can build up images of imperfect days in a row if we really yeah. wanted to, such that if you paused the camera and you took a time lapse pointing towards the edge of the Earth for, let's say, maybe it would take more than 24 hours, maybe it would take two years, yeah. but you should eventually have a perfect image of the very edge of the Earth. And that's not possible. It wouldn't work like that, no. Why not? Again, because, of, because of the atmosphere, the weather, uh, the seasons. See, you're just repeating the same words again, and you're not actually explaining to me how the atmosphere is affecting the light because all you're saying is that it's cloudy when we've already accounted for that we already navigate the camera um oh, you this is my rig oh, okay. this, this is my rig i'm looking for a piece of your answer you've already given me the answer you've given me the answer that the globe is because i don't have any camera no, no that's exactly what the camera Jeez, look at these guys, they're all coming out the woodwork here. Give us a cuddle. Jeez, uh, brother. What's happening? Right. Yeah, man. Proper. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. We've got Martin here, we've got Dave here. Nice to meet you. Uh, Chapter 777, I'm, uh, I looked after Jason's channel and oh, right on. his channels. And nice to see you, man. Yeah, and you, mate. Yeah, I've been watching you the past couple of days in oh, Ireland. Cool. And, uh, Am I this. representing okay? Yeah, same, mate. Absolutely wonderful. Brilliant. Good. Nice to have you over here. 
Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm over here for a while. And I'm coming again, leaving for Stockholm tonight and then coming back for Kidderminster for the weekend, speaking to Kidderminster. And yeah, enjoyed everything so far. Good time, that one. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. That way. And this is Dave. I haven't met Dave yet. No. Wow. He's got his shirt on. Yeah, he's got his shirt on. Yeah, because, yeah. Yeah, because so much of our identity <laughs> is wrapped and tied right up in this idea of where we live, who's given us our education. <laughs> My daughter's in her third year university studying history, and if I try and recommend, she spend a little time listening to some of your work. <laughs> How did the conversation go? All right. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, first one for me that was. But um, you can't think of every answer. I'm sure you said that you're just going to hand out leaflets and not. Yeah, get I did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I, what it was, uh, Lisa, I said to Lisa, watch this now. I'm going to have them lads because when I came up, when I found you, I came up pretending I had nothing to do with this, and I was talking to some other guys. And they said, do you believe us? What is it? It says flat earth shit. I said, never. It's a ball in it, mate. I said, you don't believe that, do you? They said, no, nah, we don't know. Oh. Then I went off and come back, and I'm handing these out to them. And I was, uh, yeah, I've got them, yeah. But I had three others after, and... Uh, yeah, it was all right. You're saying, you're saying that if you go up, you see this point, you look down. You look down. Yes. It's, uh, it's extremely windy here today, hence where the banners aren't set up properly. You know. When he goes up, he looks. He has to look down. I mean, you are trying to make a ridiculous, like a ridiculous point of what you're trying to make. You're saying that when you go up, you look down at the board. When you go up. You the area, my, my claim is when you go up, the area that you see increases because of the sphere, yeah, but because there's less position. in the way. I'm not, I'm not interested. I'm interested in the way you... I mean, why aren't you interested? Well, That's a pretty good argument. The, the, like, yeah. this is the other thing. He's not arguing, he's not, he's arguing for the board, fine. But I'm going to talk oh, about... I don't think we're arguing about... Like, I'm, I, dude, I'm actually really... I started off with just straight line of sight. Yeah and a ship on the horizon, yeah. and ignore, that's all it was. Ignore any agenda. The atmosphere is only six six miles long, and if crouching down changes that much of a difference, yeah. all the scuba divers would be dead. I can scuba dive, like, the pressure difference between me standing up and me crouching down yeah. is not enough to make a difference to the lens effect of the atmosphere, even if there was one that you're talking about. Um, At a distance there is, yeah. Not obviously no, that's, locally. No, that's... Yeah, it's, because it's, it's the same distance you're taller than vertically. I am, yeah? Right. So if I was standing next to you at the beach, you right. see other people to the air before you do. Yes. But if I stand up oh, without looking down, if I just go up to your high level, I don't look down, I just look straight forward the same way as you, and then we both see the ship go down. And then right. someone's taller. So clearly there's a very fine cutoff point where below which neither of us can see the ship. Yes, yeah, so it's between And the it's not the atmos it's not the lens effect of the atmosphere that's doing this because the ocean itself is in the way. No, that's the atmosphere between our heights. I will miss. I will lose the boat. You will still see it. The lens, of the, the the refractive index of air is not great enough that a two inch or four inch difference would mean that you could see. You couldn't see something I could see. The lens, the refractive index of air is simply not that great. Well, air, I should say, at sea level pressure. At the horizon, these yeah. uh, these things happen where, like you, said, you just said, you go lower, you go up, you see it again. Right. Yeah. Yes, because you are looking in a straight line, mm -hmm. and there is something in the way of your straight, straight view. Yeah. I mean, never mind. But I think I think we're getting somewhere here because you're saying your claim is that you go higher, you have to look down to see uh, the objects. Sure. So, I mean, like. And I say, and I say, if you can verify that, where like with a field of light, with the telescope, with a camera or anything like that, where you you're literally tilting the camera down to look at that object over the horizon, this will end overnight. Yes. I would disagree there. I think that even if I showed you that, you would have trouble and you would claim that it would be fake. Like, I don't think that this is a, um, it, it, like, this is beyond proving it to you with video because I'm actually just trying, like, mm -hmm. I'm just asking you to go through a thought experiment of us standing on the beach. Look, I get it, and on a globe, it would work like you're saying. It would. Well, why on a flat earth does it work? On a when, flat, flat Earth is a very different animal. We're talking about the you're atmosphere. You're absolutely so right. What, what do you but think? you're talking about the atmosphere as if it will 
you again, know. That, that, to be honest, that's me assuming. You asked me for my opinion on what it could be. I don't I know. Actually, I, I have, okay. What I do know is what it's not. What it is, is what we're trying to find out. We're asking people, what is it? What is going on right. here, right? So that's the difference here. That's what we're trying to find out. That way you're just discarding 4,000 years worth of science. Science? What science? Oh, well, come I, on. My that's, understand, that's a, that's you keep on saying the word science. Yeah. That, no, but that is a bit of a ridiculous. What is science? Science. Yeah, what? the word science. No, Define no. science. It's what we use to understand the world we live around and the universe in general. How do you apply science? I mean, that's Very again. Nice. I feel like you're. I feel like these are like. I would say ridiculous questions, but I don't want to be disrespectful. But I feel that's like fine. you know that you are being exaggerated. So, but I know fact. these things. But do you know these things? Do you know what? What are you saying? You know. Yeah, because people think they know what science is. They think they know. So you know what science is. One experiment is. So you know what science is. So you say well, you know well, these. Well, you said science, and I'm asking you, what is science? How are you applying okay, this? Well, what do you think it is? Let's say I have no idea. You explain to me what you think science is. I don't think I can because I'm. I don't. I'm not. My knowledge isn't multidisciplinary enough mm -hmm. for it to be respectful for me to try and say that right. but I have to believe not believe obviously but through methods which seem to be pretty sound I'm gonna have to listen to what other people I are don't, saying I don't have to believe you I don't know no, you don't have, have to believe yeah, you, but you are forcing this uh, yeah. this kind of this narrative onto other people that the earth is flat yeah but I feel like you're going against what you stand for to be honest no no it's not that because I, I would know but it would make sense if you were saying mm. the globe is a not make sense sorry but the globe is a lie right I'd yeah. be like I wouldn't be thinking it was ridiculous if you just said that, but to then say the Earth is flat. I didn't say the Earth is flat. I've oh, said come on, he come never on. Said the earth I never said the Earth is flat. Oh, you did. Do you believe the Earth is flat? I have no idea what the shape of the Earth is. Well, that's fair. Do you believe the Earth is flat? Again, it's observably flat, but. Uh, so you no believe idea. the Earth is flat? Okay, I assume you don't have any opinion. It's observable. I think we could argue about this all day. It's a belief, isn't it? To be honest, I don't think we get anywhere. Sir. Well, I've seen land too far. Wait, I've seen, seen a few videos. You, you claim you've seen land you too far. You drop a tennis ball and yeah. then spin it. Like what? Yeah. You claim all the water goes yeah. flying okay, out. Yeah. I did. Yeah, I just that, don't understand most of that's what I've, you claim. Yeah. What have you seen? What land that have you seen that you weren't meant to see? Isn't rotating at the speed of our planet. Is it? Angular, thousand miles, angular, thousand, thousand miles an hour. Angular speed. Yeah, I'm crap at geography, so I'm, yes. I can't really opinion. How fast does it rotate? No, one, I don't actually. I'm not uh, yeah, brushed yeah. up on uh, my navigation. I, 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 I mean, like, this is it here. It's, it's uh, spherical trigonometry based on Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so there is, there is a, a massive, massive, massive rock, rock, and there's lots of uh, pulling like, the ball. Pulling is not a ball. There is no pulling. Gravity. Ball. Sorry, I haven't used pulling, but it's gravity. Gravity is pulling. Attraction. So look at that. Martin! In Belfast. Oh, sorry, that's <laughs> And you can see the Isle of Man. You can see the Isle I think Man. I can't really form an opinion on this because my maths is well, crap. No, but that's okay. Well, no, but you can grab a leaf and you take it only so you, you can do trigonometry. Your math is good enough. <laughs> Not really. But look, there's, there's all this land. Look, there's three miles high is missing on that land there. 300 feet is missing on that one. The highest peak is 350 feet. Two and a half thousand feet is hidden there. The highest Shall we do the maths is 2,000 feet. <laughs> Okay, so there is so much land. Now, I didn't believe all this, so I did my own observations, my own test, and put all them calculations in uh, them online calculations. Well, at this point, you're just saying things to me in the same manner as yeah. I'm saying things to oh, you, though, because it's going points, nowhere. Score points or win points, no, 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 I know. To go home but I have no reason to believe any of this from oh, what no, you're saying. You so we might as well talk about something shouldn't. else. You shouldn't. You go away and you investigate that yourself. So you should see everything from Everest. You can see everything from Potentially, I doubt it. It was a clear day. You can see the whole day. That seems silly. There's no such thing as a clear day. There's a highest no such thing as a clear day. It's impossible. Yeah, we've been here. It doesn't go anywhere. But it's true, though. You would have to agree. There is air density and air pollution in there. So you're trying to get me to agree with something that is really pointless for me to agree with. But there is no such thing as a clear day, obviously not. So what is a bit like when you go into a swim pool, you see a hand with a door across it. But I can't see the end of the pool. If you had a lazy cow with that, you could... Well, we've done that as well. Anywhere on Earth, well, not anywhere, because they diverge, don't they? All lasers, they get bigger and bigger. Yeah, but you could point it at... China, no, we, haven't got, we haven't got a laser like that powerful enough that will, that, that could focus a beam as tight as that. 
we, we don't, that, that laser doesn't uh, exist. Even though that we, uh, even though we use such a laser to uh, fire at the moon and back. But if you think about it, the divergence of that laser is bigger than the moon. But you know what you say. If you think about it, based on what though? Like uh, if you think about the divergence of a laser, what maths are you using for that? Because I don't think you can think about that. That's something you have to have maths to talk about, really. <laughs> like so, what's your proof of that? What's your proof that the laser? What's your proof that the laser would be bigger than the moon? Well, okay. Have you ever been? Uh, have you had a parking ticket? Uh, sorry, a speed and fine. No. From a, a laser. Do you know that? No. Research that, and what happens is that this laser gets bigger and bigger. And bigger okay, but okay. No, I just like to go back. I agree. Okay, I'll accept. But you said. No, the laser not, would be big. I, again, I'm not here to score points. So I'm not points. either, but let's just... I, I find it... Just just one moment. No, I'm not, accusing, I'm not yeah, accusing you. Like, like it's a oh, well, question. let me promise you I'm not. It's, Hang on, wait. Yeah. Wait, I just want to say, you did say, oh, the laser would be bigger than the moon. Yeah. Based on what? As a hypothetical. As a hypothetical, hypothetical. so not really. Then. Yeah, not really. So not no, really. no, it's a hypothetical. Okay, well... Again, I speed you on the point. No, no. Why are you saying that's silly, isn't it? What is silly? So what I'm turning around and saying that there is divergence of lasers. They get bigger and bigger and bigger over distance. Do you accept that? Okay, but I don't think this is. I don't think we can actually like use this knowledge for anything constructive. Would you accept that? Would I accept what? A laser has divergence and gets bigger and bigger. We haven't got a. We can't narrow a beam over infinite distances. I don't, know enough, about, I don't know enough about this for me oh, to start yeah, formulating yeah. opinions. Well, I don't think you do from either. What I know, when they, yeah. when they go to the moon, they don't get the, all of a laser well, back. They just get some information. Well. So, yeah, you, you went like that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. No, it's, I'm not trying to they have get some information back, not, not the exact laser, but part of it beams back, no? Oh, to the moon? Yeah. Um, and then so, do, uh, and about the rotation of the moon, of the Earth? Yeah. We're rotating at 1,000 miles an hour. So when that laser goes up there and comes back at 1.7 seconds, we're at, you're actually down the street. Yeah. You're not going to pick that up. You're down the street. Yeah, but it's the lasers. It's hey, wide as yeah. So you get some of the information back. Yeah, it doesn't come back like this as well. No, it doesn't. Why? I don't know why. You better ask them. They need better lasers. You have to ask them, I don't build the lasers. Why am I on this Oh, don't worry, I'm not scoring points. You are, you are. Because yeah. the thing is, I'm and, not. And, and we're not, and we're, all we're trying to do is get people to uh, maybe go to a website, maybe to critically think. He's trying to, he's trying to get you guys to critically think something. Okay. Okay. This is all totally madness. And improve us this. You know, everybody that comes in, or sits uh, in front of this, they all think it's crazy. No, I don't and, think and it is, though. I don't, I'm not saying that you are crazy at all. No, no I'm, not, I'm not suggesting that anyway. I'm saying when you come across this subject, it seems ludicrous. It really does. You know, like, we're asking you to go away and debunk it. Just yeah. debunk it. That's all you've got to do. And then you're using your own critical mind, a critical thinking. You never did that when you were younger, when you looked at that ball there. You didn't have the ability for critical thinking. You just accepted that as a belief. Like I did. We all did. We were kids. And then it's like, at what point in your life did you ever challenge it? Twist saying, you're like, just challenge it. With an open mind and accept, accept I feel like you're asking system. us to do something that you're not willing to do yourself, though, because I did no, try to provide. You don't know me. No, you're absolutely right. You don't know me either, and you made quite an effort. We don't you know you. I'm just hoping that you'll go away and challenge this. So, every scientist that thinks the Earth's a globe, do you think they don't understand correct or they're lying? I would say that a lot of them are probably lying. They have to be. They have to be. I find that I, I, no, so I believable. Yeah, I find well, that I, I'd very say that a lot of them grow up and, uh, and they just they don't research it themselves. I think it's pretty disrespectful to say that of someone who spent their entire lives trying to understand this, like as best they can. Because you think, like, I feel like your opinion of science is quite like accusatory and well, quite negative. Of, well, once I realised that, let's say, um, I was taught gravity was um, mass attracting mass. I was taught that. Okay, so I didn't realise that, well no, when that drops, that's because of the bending of time and space. That's the current, um, what's it, uh, science of gravity. No one taught me that. Okay, so what's this grass, uh, mass, uh, attractive mass? This is meant to be um, 
what is it? It's, it's meant to be, what's it, time going slower? That's what no, it's meant that's to be. Yeah, that's what correct. he says, the bending of time and space. Well, well bending of space-time, it's a single material for one, and it's the mass is distorting the fabric, theoretically. I don't have the full understanding of this, by the way, as I'm sure neither do you. We're not, neither of us are claiming to be experts. It's a, it's a huge subject that took one of the most brilliant minds of humanity to, come, to put together. Um, Newton's model fits within Einstein's model, but only to a certain extent. They're improvements of the same idea, and that's what it is. It's going back and doing exactly as you said. It's checking it out for itself. Einstein checked it out for himself, found some incon uh, inconsistencies, and made corrections. That is the process of science, is to go back and make corrections. Uh, to constantly question what we know. That is absolutely the way to do it. Um, but I don't think that is enough to be worth debunking the entirety or chucking out the rest of uh, the discoveries. It's a fact, you know, and not just a theory, okay? Now, I think that there's a twist and a play on the word theory. You know, that's, that's my own first thing. To me, it's just uh, agreed stories. Agreed stories, there's nothing more. Yeah, but everything's a theory because it can be unproved, but there's some things that theories that are pretty much a fact, but you can't say it's Again, a fact. I was there's theories. Yeah, that's right. you can, I agree, that's the way I was brought. Like, like you could say it's a theory that how how we see with our eyes, but it's pretty much a fact. No, okay. yeah, yeah. And there's different levels of theories. So like, but they're still good yeah. stories, aren't they? At the end of the day, when you no, shake of course, it down, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. No. I, then I think that it should be it should be taught that way instead of just these uh, theories. Best that we can. Best that. Yeah, but there's theories that, that are better with more evidence, so you can't say. You know, you can't say the multi-universe is, is, is a proven theory as much as gravity. You know, every everything's a theory, but yeah. there's some that have been proven more time and time through multiple different experiments. It's like, well, it's like the, you know, space as well. I mean, like I don't know, the infinite of space, um, ever-expanding universe, and all that. These are all theories. Evolution theory. Um, or, uh, oh God, what else? What else is theories? I don't know. Black holes. No, and everything. No, everything is a theory. of space. They're all kind of theories. Now. No, it, black holes now, apparently, they've been taught, uh, they, they are a fact now. We've got photographs of a black hole, except for we haven't. I don't know if you've seen how they come to the conclusion of these uh, photographs. They, they, they said, uh, if, if this number was it, represents a pig, this number represents a dog, this number represents a car, this number here represents a house, and then they go, oh yeah, I've got this number, there you go, that's what your black hole looks like, it's now a duck. I think that's a massive oversimplification. It is, I, it is. I agree. Oh, but well, that's basically what they did. You know, did they? This, this, yeah, it's just young, and it's a young, this young girl that was it, has actually um, come up with this yeah. whole idea of this concept. You may have seen that. Yeah. Why don't, why don't some people yeah. in a boat that want to prove flat Earth sail from a southern country round Antarctica and back? Say that again? Why don't they sail round Antarctica and come back and see how many miles it is? Well, Captain Cook did, didn't he? Yeah, but he didn't sail like. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? Now, if you check his logs, it's meant to be, was it, about 12,000 miles no, why don't they do it now? Well, I'm, I'm just going to say to Captain Cook, if you check his logs, he's meant to do 12,000 miles. He actually did about 60,000 miles sailing around Antarctica. But that's not So enough. why don't they do that now? 60,000 is still nowhere near the I, I don't know that. Is it not? No. Okay, I'll have to look into that. I don't know. That's nowhere near 60,000 to sail all of this. Well, it's, 20, it's meant to be 24,000 on a ball, isn't it? 24,900 on a ball. Yeah, Around on top. I think it's fair to total. 24,000, yeah, please. I think it's fair to total Captain Cook's travel loads like that. Yeah. So you're saying. We get that much. Yeah. So you're saying this circle here is 24,000 kilometers. Oh, it's, uh, oh, 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 the equator. The, yeah, the equator one. The one. I guess so. I never really so how big is that? It has to be that. Like, yeah. like well, science is that's lying significantly bigger, yeah. yeah well, sure. theoretically, well, I think I mean, if like, you had like, been lied to about your very existence, then I'd be so, what's, so, and that's how they so here, at Antarctica, is just, what is it after that? Yeah, well, there's, on, the, on that website, there is a, uh, a video there saying, Antarctica, sorry, we're closed. You need to check that one out, because there is an Antarctic treaty in place right now. No, I, don't think, no, I don't think you're bad people. I don't think, I don't think you're bad people. Like, I'm not here to have a confrontation. 
Because you think I'm trying to win points. I'm really... You like, were for a second there. I don't think I, I, don't think the, I was. I don't, I don't think, think you think I was. I'm just asking questions. I think that might be a bias of yours. I think that might be a bias. Like, I'm really... I'm not. I don't think you're stupid. I like. I don't think you're stupid at oh, no, all. I think. I think my. Uh, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> well, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm not educated. No, no. I know there's a big difference there. Neither no, was no, my no, father. No, I, no, he could also, like, yeah. My father wasn't educated either, and he, from his own experience, could prove that the world was round. Like I was raised as a sailor, and I also don't think it's fair to summarize Captain Cook's logs so uh, nonchalantly no, no, without context. Awesome. Like it's well, he had to travel. It's his logs, but he had to travel back and forth between New Zealand, Australia, the Polynesian Islands many times. And he had to return to England on several occasions to do things like build models of ships and prove that the uh, catamaran was faster than a monohull, etc. And I think that summarizing his total, tra total potential travel distance, cited by I using um, a sextant, is not a, uh, not a fair judgment on uh, his travels. Well, yeah. He's, he's never sailed in a single line that long, though. He's no, never, really, of course. Yeah, yeah. I guess like, he's that. not, yeah. He's not, a, he, like, he's a hell of a man, and I think it's, yeah. They're like, yeah. Oh, so give me the best facts, then. I want the facts. Damn it, this again. What do you mean the best fact? The well, that you've got that the earth is a globe. What fact? Not, 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 not your belief. Give me a fact. But no, but to some degree, not like I understand where you're coming from. But you're giving me a lot of your belief. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Just to some degree, I'm good. <laughs> to some degree. See, now you're preaching. Sir, now you're preaching. I'm not preaching. Wait. I think you're cutting him off. I think you're cutting me off. Hold on. I'm just saying to. By your logic, it just seems, feels like you really don't want to work with other people. I feel like, do you think that people have, right? I'd like, I just don't get it. It's you have a real disdain for kind of accepting what other people have said, or at least, oh shit, he's a friend. Of, he's a friend of it's, right, it's not real. It's okay. It's, it's not real. <laughs> the, uh, See, that's how much. That's how much they're terrified of losing their balls. That's <laughs> you said it's not real. <laughs> Running out of battery, I need to sort out. Whose is it? I think it's uh, there. It's not really touching the, uh, the horizon, is it? It's not really, not really doing that, is it? Yeah. It's really touching the water. You see that? Yeah, but is it really touching the water? Just gonna change uh, batteries. Is the real, when the sun reaches I'm there, it's touching the water. That's not the right. That's not the right. That's not the right. Oh, that's that's uh, not yeah, that's yeah, not sorry, bad. I thought it was a continuation of the same. Uh, no, 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 it's different levels. This is ground. This is like an aeroplane. On the floor. If you can see uh, whatever the guy is using. Sorry, guys. The wind has taken everything away. Mark. So what? You're telling a sailor. A sailor? And he's yeah. yeah. the ball. I don't know. I don't think it does. 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 Hypothetical mind thing, right? You're taking off in the North Pole in a plane, so you fly right down the ball, okay? And by the time you get to uh, Parent Antarctica, you're completely upside down and you haven't noticed any change. No, upside down to well, if you're taking off horizontally on top of the North Pole, you travel down the globe. By the time you get under the globe at the, at the South Pole, you will be completely upside down. And you think that the pilot's not going to notice such a transition? You're still being pulled to the centre of the Earth because of the Earth's gravity. So you're not pulled. It's not. It's not. It's not. There's no need for gravity, okay? It's, it's actually magnetic acceleration, right? Okay. The upward and the upward push and pull is magnetic acceleration. There's masses of science to prove this is the case, every intellectual magnetic. 
don't need gravity. Okay. It's something they just introduce yeah. their G. Okay. Yeah. The rest of it is buoyancy and density, and that's all okay. it is. Okay. Gravity. Well, what experience of gravity have you had in your life holding you to that? Well, you, you, everything's supposed to be atoms and electromagnetic by nature. You're going to stick to that one. So they, you, you can transmit, you can just cut off. Well, it's the it comes from somewhere, doesn't it? It's called sea it's called That's level. why the argument is all of the You can see further on a flat model, too. Yes, but we're not on a flat model. But, 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 stand up. Yeah, but, but on a flat model, you can also see further. No, but if you're on a curved surface like the Earth, yeah. and you go higher, then your horizon you increases as you can see further over the curve before the curve disappears over the light. And, and if you're on a flat surface, if you go higher, you can see further. If you take a like a basketball, well, a, a football, and you put it on the ground, you put the camera on the ground, you roll that that uh, football away, it's going to disappear. Yeah, eventually when it goes over, you're also flat. No, no, no. I mean, if it's, it's just right here. I mean, on a perfectly flat surface, it'll disappear. Well, there's no such thing as a perfectly flat surface. Oh, come on, on of course there's a perfectly flat surface. There's no such thing as a perfectly flat surface. You can attempt to manufacture one of your spirit levels, but you've still got to take into account the curvature of the Earth itself. A basketball, court, a, ba a basketball court is a perfectly flat surface. Technically, it's not. If you go all the way fucking down to the, into the minutiae of the detail, it's not technically flat. It's not on a flat surface. It's on a round surface. A giant flat planet. I disagree. You know what? These are all the same. If you're standing, what he's going to say, they're going to say the same planet. He's not going to say it because it's like. Go ahead. Well, that's just the mathematical so, possibility. So, 400 times greater the sun, yeah, 400 times further than the way. Yeah, but. <laughs> How do you think you're going to get a shadow, a, a, a small, minute, maybe six miles shadow, when this, this moon is supposed to be like a third of the size of Earth? This shadow should be illuminated the same size as the moon, not filtered up through some sort of magical optical illusion to a focal point or a zenith on the Earth's surface, which they can track. It's all very, very suspicious, brother. <laughs> and the last eclipse that happened, I, I photographed life. Believe it or not, we were all standing there waiting, waiting for a moon to turn up to make this you know, sun disappear. Um, but the sun did do some sort of disappearing act, but everybody's like, Anyone seen the moon yet? The moon didn't really make an appearance. Maybe it's just invisible to us. So yeah, there's any strange phenomena go but the, the eclipse is to me, I'm not bothered with what goes on in the sky personally. That's just me. Okay? All of that to me is just luminaries. I can't associate it with my reality and my experience. I'm never they're too intangible. I'm never gonna go there, I'm never gonna touch them, so why even bother? We're gonna get to reality down here. The thing that we're standing on, the fundamental to our existence, brother. You know, you believe in an academic system, he's been brainwashing you since they got you in school. I bet you had a mobile with globes and planets. I bet you had you could have had Saturn and, and Pluto wallpaper. You know, Thank you. So they'll just pour in the globe programming. How many movies start with a non-associated to the movie whatsoever? No. It's spinning globe. You get it on Universal Pictures. It's not association to the... But they'll tell you, this is the place where you're living, because we tell you, because we've got a cartoon representation on it. So those clever folks have they've done all the maths and they've worked out... A they, yeah, they've had a lot of time to work on it. They're geniuses, there's no doubt about it. The, the controllers, the people that run this place, right, they, they are intellect like, and surpassed. So they, they've got humanity up to a T, and they got it. Uh, this is what they're relying on, is their bank of mathematics. You know? It's all themes, the problem. When you, when, that's how science works. They put it in mathematics, and then they cut out all of the, the variables, they end up with this. this. That's what's happening. This is what we're going with. That's our reality. But it's all on paper, in numbers, in calculus, that only a tiny percent of the population can read. Is there any chance that I could read in that? You teach me calculus so I can verify this for myself. Of course not, because they're only teaching the elites. You know, tiny percent of calculus, like physics and physics. So we can't really verify. And if we could, would then pieces, them dots, and them circles, and then pieces of paper determine our reality. Is that a physical existence? Is that an experience in life? Is it hell? Let's go along with the theory, the Earth is fast. So what are the implications? Why would they be teaching us that? And what's, what's okay, that's big. That's a big one. They're hiding our true nature, who we are, right? We are more. We are more. They got enslavement of the human race. Everybody has to work. We waste all our energy earning money for, for us, or is it for them? Everything else, you know, the tax system, trade, how everything works, right? So we're slaves to the day one. They make us ill. 
the food's are rubbish, the water is full of, uh, of, of fluoride, you know, it calcifies your pineal gland, it retards you. They do everything they can to dumb you down. So you can now go on YouTube, you can watch, you know, kittens rolling in the grass for your entertainment. It's nothing like, you know, it's not a spiritual experience, is it? It's not something that's going to give you a deeper fundamental to what you're doing, yeah? So that's what we're doing. We, I think there's a creator, I think his, his evidence is everywhere, all around us, okay? And I think it's a beautiful experience. I think once you get away from the globe, which is basically, I've got to be honest, it's satanic, it's a Jesuit introduced, Vatican introduced um, control system with centralized control of religion and, and everything. The corporate system that you see in front of you is all just to keep you in that one place. You know, everyone should have a shared opportunity, it should be equal. We should all be, I'm not it's like, don't sound communistic or anything, but I'm saying we should all, from, well, you know, when were you in school, did they ever say to you what you want to be when you grow up? So, so they'll give you their things, their jobs. They'll say, do you want to be a fireman, or do you want to work in a chemist, or do you want to be a policeman? They'll never really ask you what you want, like, well, I want a, a spiritual being. If you thought you said I'm going to be a remixer, or you know, they'd be like, you what? No, you got to do this, that, They would have got you away from that. They would then, then, then it would have been foolish notions to go with your consciousness, because we're consciousness driven. You know, these are just like personas of what our consciousness are. You know, our, our what we think, feel comfortable. But our true essence, we want to try different things. It's art, it's poetry, and all of that. But we're not, because we're wasting our energies keeping the system, their system, going all on a fake paradigm. Honestly, and it's fundamental. You know, they say. This tiny speck in space, you're worthless, you mean to be more wrong. We are so much more important. And what's more, we're the creators of our own reality. They fill us full of doubts, they fill us full of fear, of nuclear bombs, of being taken out by an asteroid. None of this, and none of this has any reality. So they want to just keep us our body vibration down, so we're getting ill, so then when we get ill, we buy medicine, we keep a big farmer. It's a cycle of us keeping them going and at the end when you die they'll do the same again I don't think it's over there you know somebody's got to find the money to bury you there's a whole thing going on with money with, and we're just like that like, but so what do we need to do to snap out of it and enjoy our lives snap out of it is to wake up first of all just learn to think for yourself and question what's been given to you just that's all i did you know first when i heard of this i thought well that's just actually i didn't think oh that's pathetic i thought well actually that's really interesting i'll look into it it's the type of thing i would have um and after trying to debunk it for maybe three months more, um, that was it. I was like, oh dear, this cannot be debunked. <laughs> Four years later, you know, yeah. So. This is uh, Dave Mano, Trinity 4. Um, if you'd like to catch this conversation, or conversations for the rest of the day, get yourself over. You know, I'm, I'm embarrassed, there's too oh, yeah. many shy people I'm from you. Well, not from you, but yeah. I'm a local boy. I'm 26 miles up the road, but gee, yeah. they're very shy, aren't they? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, you, uh, you didn't come down with us last time we were here, was you? No, I missed him. I, um, you missed it. When we we was having trouble with the internet, on in a me and my boy and um, yeah. when we got it on he was more at the time we got yeah you might have been packing up so right. we was like do right. we shall we or shan't we so yeah, yeah, yeah. so we just agreed and my boy couldn't come today and right. he was gutted because uh, he's, he's um he's a charity worker all right and um yeah like you say uh, yeah of all days yeah why couldn't have been there yesterday yeah. or tomorrow <laughs> but i yeah i said right. well we had to wait this year so yeah. you know just wait next year yeah oh, well, well, Definitely coming back. To, I'll always come back to Cardiff anyway. I I, I would suggest I in, um, you know the, the, the Cardiff City Stadium. There's um, you've got Hazardas, Marks and Spencers. You've got T Max. All the, there. It's always it's more much busier there than as you. Long, as long as you're allowed to see what, what he's doing at the uh, moment. This part here. This is all private. Yeah. But where we're parked, yeah, do you see all the what's it, the paper slabs? They're a different colour. Yeah. We know that's uh, what's it, uh, public. Yeah. So that's why I kind of like going there, so that I've got no yeah. hassle from all of them. Oh, right, yeah. If that's okay over there, if you if you can just go there, then yeah, we'll try that next time. I'll try and I'll I like. I'll be going back down then on when this season starts. So I will I'll make a the point of going over and have a little chat with the security guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, if they that. say, well, it's no problem, I'll try and get a message somehow. I'll just yeah. put it down. Wayne, well, from, Wayne from Cardiff.
Well, I'm not from Cardiff, but yeah, yeah. And um, but you know, how far away are you? Uh, 26 miles up the road, a little town, Arbidair. Arbidair. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Did I get, did I drive through there? I, I don't know, but Anglesey if you're going up to Birmingham Way, yeah. it's just as easy. I, I used to travel to Nottingham a lot. My, yeah, yeah. my mother's side of where they live, I used yeah. to travel up there because I was working with my uncle. Yeah. And uh, I found it, the edge of the valleys was a lot easier and quicker than right. um, the, the M5 over the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, you're going, you might go 30 miles out of your way, but yeah. you're going straight up the A470 over, over Merthyr there and head for the edge of the valleys. Right, um, right. Uh, it is up uh, and so forth, and then you, you go on the A40. And well, I had this drive yesterday, and uh, I never got to see nothing pitch black all the way. It's a horrible drive uh, coming from Anglesey all the way here because you don't see nothing in the dark. No, you know, like, and of course, what a windy road that is. Yeah. That is uh, so I don't know if you come down this way, but um, yeah. yeah, we yeah, come down from Anglesey and then obviously heading off to Birmingham for tomorrow. Yeah, but uh, you know, we yeah. see how it is because um, yeah. I know the traffic can be busy you now when you go new M4 over the bridge and yeah, yeah, yeah. to the M5. Yeah, that's Whereas right. up there, it's a nice, you're, you're having a view of wheels, yeah. towns and, um, yeah, and you're advertising. Well, I've, I've met you all on YouTube, obviously. I mean, I've, I've shook on with Dave and yeah. uh, Lisa. Um, <laughs> He has to go shortly, um, you know, like he's, um, he's off to that, it's, it's Stockholm he's going to, yeah, there's a, you know, like convention there, so he's got, he's got to do that in a minute. So we're going to lose Mark in, uh, in the next sort of five minutes. But I'm saying to Lisa and David, I, I enjoyed, I really enjoyed oh, that. Oh, I thought that it was, girl was magical. So yeah. And she was getting busted down all yes, the time. Yes, yeah, 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 he did a fantastic job. I, uh, I could have handled it myself. I was doing quite well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew I was way out what of my depth. I, said, what am I, here? But, yeah. you know. I was like a little kid. I was it asking for his dad to help. <laughs> well, I would have simply said, well, don't tell me what I live on and I won't tell you. Yeah, you know. well, they're fine. Yeah, yes, of course. We we'll leave it at that. When, I, when my son came downstairs, on a Coronation Street night with me and the missus and he said the world was back. We both laughed. I think it took me a week and I just thought I gotta look at this. Yeah. Because I'm laughing at my son and yes. yeah. he is he's artistic but he's very brainy and he's yeah. what he looks. He's he doesn't lie. So yeah, I so thought, you know, right, I've got to look okay, at it. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. And then I got glued. Yeah. <laughs> I looked at a bit of Darren Marvel at the time. I think the best thing that ever come out of this, even if the, even if you're a global believer and all that, boy, everyone's learning their science now. <laughs> it's just too much. It's not enough time in the day yeah. to look. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah. I think the Liverpool one was nearly four and a half hours. Yeah. And then when you go searching then, and, and, you look and, at the clock. And, and, and are you looking at my arm? Do you appreciate how hard that is to hold Yeah, I know you've said about that. that. <laughs> you should have muscles like I arm. Don't, I don't think people appreciate my right arm. <laughs> You have muscles like Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's, uh, yeah. It, it, it's a feat. I know. I, I, Despite I can imagine it. Like, you know, yeah. I must be swapping over now and again. No, I don't. It's like that all the time. That's, yeah. that's as much oh, as I'll do. Yeah. I'll have a little rest on my belly. Yeah. Ah, so, you're so, so I'm, not, I'm not losing my belly. It's, uh, it's you're a platform. You're getting stamina, aren't you? So. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. You just keep chatting. It's fine. All oh, oh, right. No problem. We're going on there. What's that? Reporting or...? What's it? What's it doing? Yeah, man. Cool. I don't know. It's not literally though. He's taking photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, it's interesting. Uh, that's it. We all want media. And I'm going to have it when I get home because I forgot my son's camera, didn't I? Ah. Uh, but I said I'll grab you a leaflet. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. But he wanted to take the photos of the um, your posters. But I said they're going to be put aside. You've, you've got new ones coming, haven't you? I've got new so ones. Oh, the, well, mm. the what's it? The banners have come. They're at home. Um, it, it was the bloody stickers, they've gone missing. Yeah. Um, so they've gone missing and they won't print out any new ones unless I pay again or we go through the insurance. Take them to Judge, uh, Judge Rinder. <laughs> I mean, like, they're happy, it will all go through, but yeah. they want the parcel force to step up with the insurance. I don't know why, yeah. And that's slow then, isn't it? I mean, then that's slow. It, so that You just, could be with six months. And so, so therefore I've got to fork out another £500. I know, it's mad, isn't it? 
just and then, and then I've got to wait another how long? You can actually take him to Porto, can you? I mean, you can uh, if because yeah. you can go to a solicitor dad and he will tell you how long you'd possibly have to wait. Yeah, and you I, could actually sue then for negligence, can you? I'm mean, kind of like uh, I, I'm, I'm almost at the point now. I just I've done so many phone calls. I'm sorting it out. You know, like after the convention now. Yeah. You know, like I'm going to get do the convention. I think we're going to. Uh, uh, yeah. The, the, I don't know. Just. It's complicated. Yeah, of course it is, yeah. It's bloody yeah. complicated. Yeah, you know, like, I think, you know, you can say hello to Mark and then he's got, he's got to go out of these, you know. Yeah. Hey, I got it. Hi. We're out, out for a few uh, you you can try that. And, uh, Thank radio, you. Radio ones, yes, uh, very enjoyable. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Where'd you come in, in from? Not New York. No, um, what's this? Oh, my partner's going to New York sh Christmas shopping in December. Oh, cool. So, so she bought us all T-shirts. Oh, that's nice. So I thought, let's put the New York shop on means I'm going to see a visitor, meet a, an American guy. Uh, like, you know. Cool. Cool. Oh, awesome. Hey, hate to do this to you, but it's it's time. I've, I've done as much uh, street activism as I can. It was nice meeting uh, AB Science, you know, one of our competitors. He was here. I don't know if he knew we were here, to be sure. And uh, in fact, he was walking around with this guy. And uh, yeah, I had a chance to talk to some great people. The, the weather wasn't awesome, but at least it didn't rain on us a whole ton. You don't usually get it like this year, you know? It's usually yeah, almost snowing. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah, well, climate change uh, is a myth. As oh, yeah, it, uh, you know, don't, we've don't. had a freaky summer. Uh, it might be suspicious. It might be. But I am heading off to the airport to go to Stockholm, and then I am coming back here and doing the Kidderminster conference over the weekend. Are you going to be at Kidderminster? I don't think I can make it. Oh! I, like I said to a few of you, uh, I'm still new at it. I'm, I've, I've right. been learning for three and a half years, and I'm still learning. And uh, all right, you know. Well, cool. I'm just, I, I can't wait for more information. And there's a lot out there. You know. You know, I, take your time. I love the activism because I love to, I love to see people's point of views and laughing and like yeah. I did and thinking, you know, you're not going to laugh in about another week if you're genuinely going to open your mind to it. Everybody, you know? yeah, absolutely. Everybody, again, everybody starts out questioning this thing. Every, nobody embraces it right away. Everybody reaches their conclusion their own way. Well, my, my son broke the news to me and my partner while we were watching Coronation Street. I don't know if you know what that, know what that I is, know but that it's a show, local yes. And I laughed at my own son. I didn't yeah. realize I laughed at him until I thought about it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've had good friends of mine wave me off. It's like, get the hell out of here. What are you doing? And it's like, I can't explain it. You know, why am I here doing this? Why have I been doing this for the last four years? Well, somebody's yeah. got to do it, as, as they would say. Yeah. No, you, yeah. I mean, you think, I've, I've wanted to come to several activisms, but I can't have an excuse for this. This is so local. I had to be here today. You know, I mean, again, I'm, I'm, it wouldn't have mattered weatherwise either because we're so used to it here. So. Yeah. And again, my, my, my message to anybody before I go is, you know, because people say, uh, you know, why, why do things that make Flat Earth bad? And I go, look, any attack against Flat Earth helps Flat Earth. Uh, the short version is this. If someone decided, and you can put this out there to any science people, if someone decided to uh, throw eggs at me and say, you know, uh, flat earth sucks, a little play on words there, then, uh, and, and I, I'd ask, I'd say, are you going to actually post it? Are you going to turn it into media? And they say, yeah. I go, absolutely, I'm signing, I'm on board. Because any attack is a good attack. That means they're thinking about it, it means they're passionate about it. Love it or hate it, you're not going to ignore flat earth. How do they see it? There you go. Yeah. Anyway, pleasure, man. Yeah. Nice, nice meet you. Yeah. Well, see you next year if you're. Uh, yeah, we'll oh, we'll yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And hopefully, my son will make it this time. Cool. We'll um, try and get the dates. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. No yeah, worries. So we'll, you know, this thing's happening. Yeah. You know, we're doing the dates. There, I think they're going to. Uh, Birmingham now. Birmingham. Yeah. yeah. It's nice, next one. Because I got family up there. Not that I'm always. Oh wow. I was going to say, quick way to work. Um, down and have 14 points on the other side here. Well, uh, worth check. Um, no. It's a bit quiet down the other side. So All right, I'll give a check. Uh, it's a bit quiet down the other side. Oh, yours is fluffier than mine, mate. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah. I mean, I'm not comparing, right. yeah, but. Well, I am. Uh, mine's, my, mine's a lot more fluffy, and yours is. Uh, you don't think it's on properly? I gotta run. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna get. I, I do need to get one of them. And you, are you sure? Is that battery? Is it attached? I'm having to hold it with my uh, hand. The battery pack. Yeah, it's a vital thing, isn't it? 
it's a fighter yeah. thing. You need some. And this phone of mine has a very dodgy, loose connection to to the the, the hardware, so the battery. So of course it has. It's <laughs> Yeah, it's it's worse when it when you just can't see the cracks yeah, now because it's not in the white. But but it's um absolutely hammered this phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's but, what uh, that's what Roxanne had for about uh, oh for the whole of last tour. Yeah. She had that all the way through. You know. Yeah, but Jason of the delivery on my stream. They are in uh, Cardiff, Wales. I have sent a few people over. Uh, Trinity Four. Sorry, I got this better guy. He talks a lot more eloquently than me. That's very good. Uh, Hugs to the Tuxedo. You're going to be a Kidminster? Hopefully, hopefully. Right. We'll see. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to see you. You don't have to worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Mark. Yep, and I'll see you, th I'll see you there, right? Yeah. All right. Friday, nice. Saturday? Yep, yep. Right. I'll, I'm flying in Friday. Okay. All right. Nice seeing you, man. Take care, Mark. Cheers, Bye, guys. Man. See you later. Oh, What? Together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my ride. Okay. Smash it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, um... Uh, I haven't met you yet. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, no problem. So where have you come from? Well, I live in Cardiff. Oh, right. yeah. oh that's... That, well, I, I'm a Cardiff so city supporter, so... We're both Cardiff, oh, yeah. But I, right, yeah. I live in Cardiff. It's pretty better for Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Oh. No, I've been to a few flat earth meetups in Bristol. Right. And, uh, oh, with Robbins? I know Robin, yeah, right, and Lisa. So, uh, yeah, yeah, oh, right, it's okay. Uh, you know, when I heard it was coming today, I thought, well, let's, let's go for it, you know. Excellent. Yeah. So, right. Is, is the first time for an actual activism one? Mm, I think so. I was here. I saw it last year. They came over by boat last year. I only remember it because I was off teaching. I was a music teacher, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I walked right past it. Yeah. It was stuck in my mind, but I never stopped. I didn't have time no, to no, actually no. stop. And I realised afterwards, looking at YouTube, that I'd actually missed it. You were here last. It was blazing sunny. Yeah. All, right. all, all this is all full of drunk it can, kids. Yeah, well, that's, that's how it ended, isn't it? You had a yeah. bit of a kid. The little boy, young boy, very interested, I remember. Uh, yeah. But it, yeah, at the end, it got a bit. Yeah. Well, that's why I decided to come back again. I was kind of hoping for the same sort of atmosphere. Really? But, <laughs> but I, I wasn't counting on the way. I said to that. Robin, go up near the castle. It's, it's more tourist, but, you know, whatever. You know. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's where you're allowed to go, I suppose, is it? I don't know. It is. Allowed to be on that pavement over there. So where's the limit? This is private, and oh, right. that's the limit. That's uh, yeah, it's not private there. <laughs> and I can see you to the Cardiff City Stadium with Asda's. Yes. I mean, your, your parking's just all the way. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. Set up. You're yeah, we'll yeah. definitely look into that. Because uh, I viewed you on um, on YouTube about your parking, and it's, oh, it's terrible. Seventeen fifty and things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well the girl was, yesterday, you know, um, girl yesterday in Belfast. Uh, it, it cost us 22 euros, but it cost her about 29 euros. That's yeah, nice, I, isn't it? Magda, uh, that was Magdalene yesterday. Uh, that was lovely meeting you, Magdalene. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I, uh, oh yeah, she, you're after the group photo, I'll send that to you. Suppose you'll do it. Um, yeah. When you put the new posters up, oh, if you can um, let's sort of read them off for viewers. And then, yeah. he, what he's, he said he'll do, he'll um, what's him captured it with this photo on oh, the right. phone. So then he'll. You know, you can download them. Then he'll done, yeah. But then he'll. Um, I don't know what they do with these yeah, yeah. bloody things. Yeah, well, I, I, but, uh, I'll do that, but it, yeah. they're on my site. It's yeah. on the globe because I, I noticed okay. you done it the other day. You, you, It was a bit quiet, so you went slowly across the board. Of the yes. Open. And I for did. people to read them, they, I know there's reading there. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, I did that with the leaflet as well. Yeah. And, you know, like slowly. But sometimes you can't do it because I, I know it's quite quiet. And you've got all 30 people around there. Right? It's a bit of a shame today. We, we wanted the banners up, you know, in the usual way, but the wind got the better of us here today and it, it almost didn't happen. We were getting gusts up, I don't know, uh, five, six, seven. <laughs> we were totally, uh, yeah, it, even we, we've got some metal poles on top of the banners and they were still getting blown away. Um, 
not the best of days, but it's kind of calmed down at the moment. We're doing okay. The rest of these, what he's been writing, let's have a look. There you go. How do I stick a device in between and measure the difference between the two? Well, you can me you can put the device there, measure the pressure. Yeah, pressure but I'm saying that you, you've just you're not, you're not answering my question. Yeah. question he was about I'm to. I'm saying that you've got a gradient here, yeah. left thinner here, thicker here. Yeah. You're saying right between my two hands is a different is yeah. a density gradient. So how do I get a device between those two and measure the pressure? To now? measure the difference Betwe between the pressure uh, from and there and there. Here, yeah. You measure it there and you measure it there. So I, me I put something here. Yeah. yeah. And like I say, how does it, what does it read? It would read the pressure. Read how like it, but it would read, you know, slightly different than it would measure there. Yeah, so I'm saying that it's, you've got something pressed in here and less pressed here. Yes. Yeah. So how does the device read that? What will uh, it press on? What will it press on yeah. the device? Yeah. Well, that is an internal chamber. The chamber. It depends on what device you're using, right? Any device. Give me uh, give any, any, any. Uh, you could use a hyperfine barometer. You could use a MEMS device. Okay, the, so let's take a barometer. Yeah. Mercury, it, it, mercury barometer. Well, you're probably not going to get the resolution you need for that smaller measurement difference, but uh, you can use um, you, you can use several electronic devices that uh, are finer, a finer resolution. So you're saying the atmosphere is pressing on the sensors? Yeah. I mean, I can't see how that's happening. Huh? You could you demonstrate that? Huh? Um, yeah, not right here, but I've got a few of those men, men's devices at work, yeah. Yeah. All right, then, um, yeah, I mean, that, that'd be something I'd be looking into okay. uh, looking to see. But what happens is you have a piezoelectric pickup, yeah. right? and the air pressure compresses it. That changes the uh, stress on the okay. crystal, and that changes the conductivity of the crystal. Yeah. Right? And then we can measure uh, the resistance of that, of that crystal, and that can give us the pressure. How do they calibrate these things? Huh? Uh, you can find several interesting ways of calibrating it, where you know how much gas you put in a container. You have the device in there, yeah. and you can do that from theory. You can do that, you know, you can, you can do that in several ways possible. There's, you can calibrate this. That's absolutely fine. I mean, at the end of the day, that's why these devices work, right? Yeah, they have a thousand of these. Yeah, but things. how do they calibrate them? Is what I'm asking. Huh? Do you know how they calibrate it? Um, I would think you take the device, you put it into a known a system with a known pressure, right? That's how you calibrate anything, is you take two uh, conditions where, or, well, you take several known results, and you put the device in there, and then you measure what the expected outcome is. And then you can plot the measure compared to the expected, and then that's how you calibrate. Did you know that? What did you say? says you basically do several tests one after another now how do you calibrate the device this is let me finish yeah basically say you do several tests one after another so you start with a pressure you know so when you fill up a box with water with x amount of water you calculate the pressure that water would then give on the bottom of that box you measure that pressure you then move to a pressure slightly different that you know is slightly different because you've measured it either with again use something like water because it's a measurable physical seeable substance you go, right, half the amount of water, we should expect half the reading from that. Basically, that's what you're doing, but they're doing it much more times. Much more times? That was really bad English. Many more times. <laughs> Many more times. <laughs> and creating a basic graph of this is what we expect the measurements to be, this is what we're actually getting right, this device works or it doesn't work. If it works, we then mass produce that device or that system of measurements. How do you so, know this? How do I know this? Yeah, we're going to school and paying attention in school. Well, they told you they calibrate devices Basically, yeah, this is part That's of how physics. you calibrate any yeah, device. Yeah, this was part of physics and calibrating things yeah. for measuring electrical uh, currents. Yeah. Yeah, we're talking so about, we're talking about atmospheric pressure. Yeah, but, yeah, but this is principle. any device. 
no, no, you, you no, know, no, no, it's no, the no. same principle. You run the experiment yeah. several times on what you're wanting to do. Yeah. So you run the experiment, right, this wire should give on this current X result. That's how we used it no, in no, physics. Wait, wait. No, no, wait. Hold, on, hold on, you're talking about something else. I'm talking about atmospheric pressure. Yeah, yeah but, but I'm we, talking you're about talking about, about calibration of a device. No, 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 I'm talking about of an atmospheric pressure device, not any device. No. Just no, 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 this is universal to all devices. Not really, because let's say a scale. You stand on a scale, yeah. Yeah. it reads plus three, you reset it, it calibrates, you step off, you step back on, yeah? Yeah. It gives you a, a reading. The original measurements yeah. and making of that device, yeah. they would have had to say, right, this is the plate, this is the resistance on the plate. We will put on one weight that we know is five kilos. We'll put that weight on. It reads five kilos. We'll take that weight off. Yeah. It goes to zero. We'll put on a different weight. We'll make sure that weight's right. And you do several tests to make sure your device is reading correct. When that is correct, you will then go, yep, yeah, that is the testing phase for that device. We will now mass produce that device. And that is then. And then you'll you... even calibrate each device that you mass produce. Yeah. Well, I think you're talking about a different device than the. Uh, no, this, the is, this, is, this is for all devices. Any device is tested in this way. Right? Uh, whether, I, uh, whether I build an electromagnet and I want to test the magnetic field, right? I, no, I understand how a scale is calibrated. Yeah, yeah that's, that's you're normal. basically doing yeah. the same kind of because all your pressure is doing for reading the air pressure. Yeah, it's a very, very, very sensitive scale. Right. So why is that not the same as weighing a scale you step? I'm saying you, I don't think you have to start from zero. Why? No. You don't have to start from zero. You wouldn't have to start from zero. No, no, no. You, you have you, to start you just from take X. You, you just take a series of points, arbitrary points. Yeah. Right. And you can plot. Um, Are you saying that you, you're saying to get the pressure reading of where we are now, you don't need to start from zero? No. Okay. You can start from X, and you can work backwards from that. So say. So let's say let, let, hold on, hold on. Let's say let's say it's 14.7 psi here yeah. on the ground. Yeah. So you're saying they just did what exactly? Just typed in 14.7? No, no. They could they could start from a point of 10. So 10 start psi. 10, yeah. So they could start from 10 pounds per square inch, 10 so, points so you, per square inch. So you just type inch. in 10 psi? No, you start from that to cal to make your scale. And once you know that, say, 15, 20, 150 points of measurement are right, you know your scale is working properly, you can then bring it to a situation like this and go... Hold on, slow down. So I've got my device. Yeah. I, put, I type in 10.7. No, no. 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 I, you put I, it in an environment where, for example... 10.7 is what I mean. Yeah, yeah precisely. Yeah. So you put That's it in an environment that says 10.7. Yeah, 10 psi. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you put it in that so environment. I take, I take it out of that environment, but... No, put, you put it into that environment and then 10. you... 10.7. Then, yeah. then I add the 14.7 No, 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 no. What you then no. say is you then take the reading yeah. that that device gives you, right? So you put yeah. it in an environment where you know that it's 10.7 or 10 yeah, psi. Is that, is that absolute pressure or gauge pressure? Absolute. It doesn't matter. Absolute pressure, it, it, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter. It the scale matter. was linear. It doesn't matter. Right? You say it doesn't matter. You can set your zero wherever you want. Are you right? saying it doesn't matter? Yeah, you can set zero wherever you want. So you can set have this. You, want, yeah? you can have this as zero pressure yeah. if you really want to. Right. It makes no difference as you're going up and down yeah. because the amount it's going to change is still going to be the yeah. same. Because that's the, the difference number between... we attach to it is our own number. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's the difference between gauge pressure and absolute pressure, right? The zero is just at a different point. I thought, I thought absolute pressure would be from um, adding the 14.7 onto what the gauge pressure would be. Now, uh, uh, an absolute pressure, zero psi or zero yeah. zero kilopascal, or zero pascal, yeah. is is given as a, a a true pure vacuum. Right. Yeah. Do we have a true, 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 uh, true vacuum? No, we don't. We don't, no. No, it, it cannot exist. It does not exist in the universe. There's no place as a vacuum, is there? Uh, a, a true, pure vacuum yeah. doesn't exist. Right. It's okay. Similar as that. Even, you know, even in outer space, yeah. there will be a particle of what? around. Of something. More than likely. Give an example. Yeah, <laughs> most likely hydrogen, indeed. Hydrogen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, most likely there will be, because we, we measure... You know, the so let's say you take your um, measuring device, it, yeah. it won't read zero is what you're saying. Depending on how accurate it is, it, it becomes a bit difficult. Well, let's say you've got the most accurate Because one. then you're the most, talking the about... Precise one. If it was the most precise that we could ever, ever, ever make, I still don't even think... Uh, you would probably read zero because it requires that particle to collide with your detector, right? Um, and that's not, you know, it's not likely to one, happen, so it's going to read zero, chance. even though... And that's where those detectors kind of fall down. But in the slightly higher ranges, right, uh, we regularly build vacuums which are 10 to the minus 8, 10 to the minus 9 millibar. Um, 
and we, you know it's quite happy to do that um, and we can quite easily measure that because although there are only you know 10 to 100 particles per cubic meter we actually do get uh, you know get some reading on it collisions and yeah so we can actually get this okay well you know i mean it's our opinions basically isn't it you know it's what we uh it's what we think yeah, but what's I, would, I would go a little bit beyond opinions because um, we can test these things and we can verify these things. Right? Who can? I can. And that's what I do for a living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can test. No. You can test what exactly? I can name something and I'll try and test it. Curvature. Rotation. Curvature is easy. How? I don't know. We just repeat Eratosthenes experiment but with several sticks. Yeah. Right, rather than just taking the two sticks. Uh -huh. Right, you take 10, 20 sticks. The more data points, can the better. It, can we do it today? Huh? We do it now. Uh, well, if we can get some people uh, who are on the same line of uh, same line of. Why is it so difficult then? Huh? Why, is it, why can't we just do it now? Well, because I can't just take put a stick in the ground and walk 10 meters down the road and how, measure how a reasonable distance. How did they do it then all those years ago? Huh? Well, he knew roughly knew the distance, right? I don't know. He kind of got it right, but we can repeat it, and this has been repeated many times. Can we do it today times. now? Huh? Can we do it today? Well, if we can get people on board to repeat this, then yes. yeah, we so can. What, what would we do? We would put a stick here. Yeah, we yeah, say let's say we, we, we what, put if a stick. what if there was yeah, no sun? sun what if there's no sun? How do we know? Huh? Well, there will be. So if there's no the sun, sun, we can't find out the shape of the earth. Huh? If there's no sun, well, we can find a sunny day, right? But what if there's no sunny day? Ah, there is always sunshine somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't, find out, we can't Come on. find out now though, right? Because huh? there's no sun. Well, not in this instant right now. We can't easily measure it using this method. Yeah. No. Right. So is there another way to verify it then? Off the top of my head, uh, no. I'm sure there is, but I can't name it. Can you think of another way to verify that the Earth is curving right now? Curving right now? Yeah. Can we get to the top of that building? Top of that building? What would we see? We'd see slightly further than we see now, and you're going to say vanishing point, I'm going to guess. No, I would say we can see further because uh, it's a flat plane. Okay, why can we see the bottom of the buildings? Why can we or can't we? Why, why from here? Say these buildings weren't here. It's a crappy example, to be fair. Yeah, if this these is buildings a very bad environment, here, environment yeah, to this. We'd be out in the country. <laughs> yeah. And you're looking, say, over, oh, we're not too far. You say bloody, um, what's it? Six miles, three Plains. miles? Yeah. yeah. No, I was thinking of an actual landmark. Um, Western Henges, what's the area? Oh, Salisbury Plains. That's Salisbury right. Plains. You, you yeah. can take the Bristol Channel, right? Uh, okay. Shit, Bristol oh, Channel. Clearly. Yeah. Bristol Channel, clearly. So you're looking across. You see the top of the thing. Why don't you see the bottom? What's your answer? Atmospheric conditions, depending on the day. I mean, I would say on Monday, you can't see... Um, you can see half on a Monday. Mm -hmm. Tuesday, you can see a bit more. Wednesday, you see none yeah, of it. Yeah, which is fair enough. So when you go higher, yeah. why do you see more? Because you're seeing over that what we call a dirty air, a dirty layer. Why? You're seeing through more air though, because you're going on an angle. Then, the so you're seeing the atmosphere is a lot thinner as you go higher, isn't it? Yeah. So you're still going to look through angles of the same stuff. I know what you're trying to say is you're not looking through the same thickness the whole. You're way not through. though. That's that's the point. Nope. So as you're getting higher. You're seeing a clearer path. So when we do it over a body of water that doesn't have as much dirty air because it's not a city, why do you yeah. then still see the same sort of reaction that you'd expect to see as seeing more as you get higher? You're not going to get the same dirty air because you're not looking at a city. Say what, you're looking it, at two yeah, yeah. mountains. Yeah, yeah, it, it depends on the, uh, the condition of the day as well. Pollution, so, many factors. When I used to live up in North Wales, yeah. I could go up to Corn Bay Heights, look out and see the mountains much yeah. further away than I could see from down at the ground. But I'm going further back because I'm going up the mountain, and I'm going higher up. But yeah. I can see a hell of a lot further. And you're going to say it's all due to because of the atmosphere. You're the not atmosphere. going to put any atmosphere refraction into that or anything like that. Yeah, the atmosphere is acting like a lens. It is um, causing you uh, not to be able to see as far as you'd like to. Um, but you know, the main thing is that the idea that it's the Earth is curving. It's never been verified. You know, we were just asking now. Well, if we just ask you now if we can verify it now, and you were like, well... You know, so the I, you're saying it's not been verified, yeah. as in completely. You're after things we can do right now. Right now. So in the past, it has been verified, though. By who? <laughs> By well, millions of school children who have repeated their Eratosthenes experiments. You're just over preaching to me. Uh, you should no. be called good preachers. 
Huh? You're not really a scientist. You're not into science or facts. Are you facts. calling me not a scientist? <laughs> well, I'm saying I'm looking for the facts. I'm yeah. looking for the truth. All I get all right. here is preaching from people all day. Well, but that's what you're doing right now. I'm asking questions. Yeah, I'm asking you. I said, how can we do it? you Can you demonstrate? I said to you, can you say that I am preaching? No, no, no. I said, can we demonstrate it now? You said we need a certain. I said, is there another way to demonstrate it? You said, well. Not really, not I can think from of. From ground level Yeah, because I am not the have. arbiter of all knowledge, right? I'm sure there are several ways around it, but, you know. I, I mean, I don't like yeah. having a conversation, yeah. but, but when you preach, bit. that's not, different, isn't no, it? Yeah, I'm not preaching. You're asking questions, yeah. and I'm answering them. Are you I'm religious? Trying to, no. Not at all? No. So you wouldn't want any beliefs of, or any kind of, you know, faith-based ideas yeah. in your mind, right? Huh? Well, I consider any argument that's presented to me. Right. But I'm talking about you're not religious in terms of just believing things just because. Yeah? Huh. You, you want the truth. Yeah. So if you're struggling to prove to me... I'm not what? struggling to prove to you. I, I, because I don't have the equipment on me right now. Yeah. Right? Well, who did? Who uh, had the equipment back then? Well, some dude had some sticks a while ago, right? <laughs> we have, <laughs> we have school pole, children. We have school children. Who children. No, that, right? No, sir. Uh, and they can Put easily show that. Right? It doesn't take much. You don't think you're struggling to prove the globe to me now, today? No. Well, you're rejecting what you're hearing. No, you're giving me an answer. You're giving me an explanation. It's good. Yeah, that's, that's it. In lieu of a laboratory, I can only give you explanations. Could anyone give me a demonstration? Yeah. Who? Huh? Well, you could yourself. How would I demonstrate? You get Stick. yourself, friend, on a sunny day. Yeah. Right, you find yourself in the south of England, yeah. you're in the north of England, yeah. Yeah. put a stick in the ground, you measure it both at the same time. So we won't know it's the ball until the summer? Yeah. Well, I'm sure there's going to be a sunny day between now and next <laughs> it's summer. It's 26 degrees this weekend and yeah. sunny. It's going to be pretty sunny, yeah. This weekend. It's more than likely you can do it in Birmingham tomorrow. Right, so you're saying I have... When he goes to north of Birmingham, when he goes south of Birmingham... Mm, that's going to be quite error prone, it's very small angular yeah. separation. It still shows something. Yeah, maybe. So you're saying uh, the sticks... When a nice sunny day will give me proof of curvature. Uh, no, it will give you evidence, not proof. Right? I mean, if you want to be scientific, yeah. you should not be talking about proof. Well, is that stick in the ground scientific? Huh? Why is it not? Well, where's the, uh, where's the observed phenomena? Huh? There's a sun. Well, not now, but we know that there's a sun up there. <laughs> but, right? Yeah. There's a sun that changes angle. Okay. During the day. But what's the uh, what's the observed phenomena for this uh, scientific heliocentric model that you have? Well, if we take, if we carry that on, the uh, the angle of the sun seems to uh, change as a function of uh, latitude. Right. There you go. That's your observed phenomena. And where's your experiment? Okay. Your experiment is just stick a stick in the ground, and you do that at different latitudes. That's not really an experiment, is it? Uh, how is it? What was your hypothesis? Huh? The hypothesis is your the solar declination changes with as a function of latitude. And your independent variable was? Huh? Latitude. And dependent variable was? Solar declination. And the cause was? Huh? Well, that is what you're trying to figure out. What's the cause of curvature? Huh? What's the cause? Well, that's not what you're investigating. <laughs> it's science. That's what huh? we're investigating. Well, we're looking no, for the cause. No, no, we're no, looking for the no. independent the variable. The geometry of the Earth is the figure of merit. <laughs> He's preaching to me, you see? He's giving me nice words, nice philosophy here. No, he's uh, giving you exact <laughs> phrasing. Giving I'm, you I'm giving you exact phrasing that, you know, we teach to experimental physicists, to scientists all over. This is not, um, giving me no demonstration here at all. Huh? Give well, me have you given me a demonstration? I've, I've made a claim. Huh? There's no claim here. All of these are claims. <laughs> you made a claim earlier about um, uh, pressure gradients, right? How that can exist next to a vacuum. Yeah, I can't demonstrate a pressure gradient next to a vacuum. But you just agreed with me earlier that when you go up Snowden, the pressure is different. Not the pressure, the temperature. Yeah, but pressure, temperature you and pressure are related. There, you'll, get a, you'll get a different pressure, won't you? Different temperature reading. So if I take a broiler to Snowden, why not get a different pressure? No, not different pressure, no. Well, why not? Here, here because you need a container for gas pressure. But you'll say we're in a container. So if I, I, I didn't say a container. So you don't believe the world's in a container, you believe there's a vacuum bubble when we get to well, the zero pressure. Say, I haven't made any claims, I haven't said any of these things. So when you, were talking, to, when you were talking to the gentleman here before, yeah. right, when we you looked out there having a pint, yeah. 
and you were going on about pressure next to a vacuum. Yeah. Well, we've agreed that as you go higher up, the pressure decreases. I didn't say we agreed, and we, but I was listening. Well, and yeah. when we I asked about a pressure gradient earlier, you yeah. didn't make any argument against that. Well, because I listened to your story. Okay, so you yeah. do believe there's pressure gradients. So if I go higher up, the pressure I changes. Say there's a, mm, what is the pressure of what, though? Exactly. The pressure of the air around us. So do you believe, yes or no, there's a pressure gradient? So if I'm up in a plane and I open the door, is there going to be less pressure? And the same for temperature, you're saying the thermosphere in our model is 2000, is 2000 degrees. In our model, the thermosphere is 2000 degrees. So why is there not high pressure there? There's, not, because there's a low pressure there, yeah. You can't have high temperature and low pressure, can you? Well, yes, you, can. you can. No, you can't. You can. <laughs> how? Huh? Demonstrate it then. How? Because what, here and now, outside of the laboratory? Well, no, no, I well, can't. Explain to me how you right. do it then. So pressure is an energy <laughs> density. Science, yeah. right? It's a measure of the, de the amount of kinetic energy yeah. in a volume. Okay. Okay? There are three factors to that. Well, yeah. two, because one is a constant. Right? The number of molecules yeah. or particles yeah. right, per unit volume and the temperature. And then there's a third, which is called the ideal gas constant. Right, we can go to Van der Waals law, which is a little bit more complex, okay. but the ideal gas law is a very good approximation. Mm -hmm. And we, have, we see two factors, mm -hmm. right? We see number of molecules per, or number of particles per unit volume and temperature. Okay. Okay? And it's a product of each other. So you can have a very low pressure with a high temperature, provided very low that the number, of atom, or the number of particles is very low. And where, where, where would we find this? Huh? Where can we find this? Well, find what? What you just described. Well, you can find this on top of a mountain because it doesn't follow. No, top of, a, top of a mountain is just a low changes. temperature, isn't it? There's no pressure, is there? Huh? There is pressure. Days living in North Wales when it's been warmer in Snowdonia on the top of the mountain than it has been at sea level at Porth Maddock where I used to live. It's colder up there, yeah? No, it's been warmer. Sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's warmer. Yeah, temperature changes, yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, but you're saying we're higher up so and I'm lower down. When you went up there with a the higher temperature, it was a lower pressure. I didn't measure the pressure, but then you're saying about different pressures and stuff like that. But if I'm at lower sea level, if I'm literally at sea level and I'm having a lot colder, literally rain some days down in Porth Maddock and sun at the top of Snowdon. Okay, so you've got different temperatures here. Different temperatures, yeah. Yeah, but there's also different pressures because you can boil a kettle at different Where's temperatures. Where's the surface area? Where's the surface area of the mountain? No, the surface area for the pressure. Well, if you want to measure the device, if you want to measure the... But you can't have pressure without a surface area, yeah, can you? Yeah, but if you have a device that yeah. measures pressure, yeah. that device mm -hmm. has a surface area. Okay. But is, is it pressing on this? Well, that's yeah, really of course wrong. it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, of course, it is, right? Because on the atomic level, what mm -hmm. you see is you have particles Anthony. going around. Call him, using. I think so, yeah. <laughs> well, it's, uh, as he's it's, gone over there. It's, it's we, we, the front. That's all right. <laughs> we could take temperature out of it and say, go up Snowden. A kettle doesn't boil at 100 degrees with purified water at the top of Snowden. It boils at less because there is less pressure. That's not to do with temperature because you're increasing the temperature in the water. So I'll wait for him to come back, but yeah. Because they always have problems with tea tastes like shite at the top of Snowden. It doesn't boil. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm lucky, I used to live up around there. I've been up several times, I don't even go to the mountains. That's just a speck. I still don't grasp it. Well, while he's taking a break, should we have another pint? Let's have a beer. Yeah. Let's have we'll, a beer. We'll probably yeah, be in there enjoying it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, going to get for a pint. Yeah, yeah. okay, we'll be here. Yeah, we'll be here. Yeah. 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 Did you have a phone the friend moment? <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, will you leave him alone? They've gone now. Okay. Do you know, uh, can you tell me where the sun goes in your scheme when it goes beyond the horizon? Where does it go? Oh, okay. So let's say um, the sun is a lot smaller. Okay. Okay, and a lot closer. Okay. So a lot smaller, a lot closer. Okay. So due to, uh, um, let's say, oh God, it's really hard to demonstrate. Um, how do we demonstrate? If I'm looking across here, okay, yeah. and I see the sun going going off because uh, you, you'll appreciate that everything on the floor rises up to your eye level from perspective everything for, in the sky comes down to your eye level when you're looking out into the 
by that, so, but okay. So maybe, um, that's it. sometimes we see, it, as far as we can see, we see clouds that we know that are really high up, but they're not, they're actually at your eye level, aren't they? Clouds. At my eye level, okay. Yeah, because uh, everything in the, in the sky kind of comes down to your eye level. Everything from the sides come down to the middle of your eye. So that side will come to your eye. That doesn't, uh, okay, but, so, but when the sun, so when the sun is going out, okay, when it's going out, it gets, it, it actually just gets um, small, it, it gets smaller, okay? So it's not meant to get smaller, but it does get smaller. It's meant to be 93 million miles away. So it gets a, a fractional smaller, and we're talking a fraction, but it does get smaller. Um, that's just a point of interest. Now, it's smaller in view, but not in actuality. Or do you think that oh, is well, no, no, that's. The, or does it shrink as it goes away from you? No, it doesn't shrink as in, uh, yeah, it, it actually gets smaller, doesn't it? It doesn't but, actually but, get but smaller, it just do. looks smaller. It looks smaller. That's what you're saying. But it shouldn't do, should it? It's 93 million miles away. It well, you never... get smaller when you walk away from me. Why shouldn't the sun look yeah. smaller? Ah, yeah, yeah, but, but the, we're only talking about, I don't know, 20 feet, 30 feet, 100 feet. Yeah. We're not talking about a, a sun that is 93 million miles away. 93 million miles away. So what I'm saying is that if these clouds are coming down and that sun is getting further and further and further away, Therefore, you know, like so soon, you know, it's going to be out of your perspective. It's going to be, um, it's going to be further on, and maybe due to. Oh, I see what I've got. Oh, you know, guys. Sorry, guys. Yeah. So look. So when, when we're saying that the sun is a lot smaller, okay. a lot more, a lot further. Yes. And if we're in the north, okay. So we're in the north, and we see. Um, uh, and then if the sun is getting closer in the tropic of, I believe that's Tropic of Capricorn, okay. So that's coming. That's our. So that's coming. That's our summer. And as it gets further and further away, and it gets into um, what's it? The tropic, uh, the equator, and then the tropic of Cancer, and then that becomes our winter. So the 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 sun is spiraling. Then you're saying. Yeah, it's it's going round us. It's, 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 it has a strange movement, and yeah. it just gets a wider and wider arc. Okay. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? I would imagine so. Yeah. Yeah. I would say that. So that's why. It, it, you have the illusion of it going down there and coming up there. And that's why we have a 24-hour sun in the north, okay? We see this 24-hour hour sun in the north, yeah? What causes the sun to go round and round like that? Oh, I don't know. You don't know? No, I wouldn't know that. No. That's beyond how... I, would, I, I can't imagine who would ever know that. Okay. Uh, you believe in God? Um, I believe that there could be a creator, a creators, a designer, designers. Okay. I'm do, you agnostic. Do, you, do you believe in an afterlife? Um, that's a big question. I don't know. So I haven't given that one a thought. So you thought. suspend judgment because you don't know? Well, yeah, we should do, shouldn't we? Okay. We shouldn't. We shouldn't just throw in. Uh, what's it? Just pretends, just beliefs. Just you be, say you believe in you a creator. You say you How old do you think the Earth is? Uh, that I don't know either. How could we possibly know that? How could, I mean, like, because, because science says? Who could tell you that? No one could tell you that. That would just be a guess, wouldn't it? It'd be a belief, you know, like a religion, a belief system. But, but you, you, have a, you, you have a belief that the, this sun is small. small. You have a tiny sun and it's circling in ever wider loops that give you the illusion I'll of... I'll tell you what I know, I tell you what I know, what I, um, which is not a belief. This is what I know, this. This is land that you shouldn't be able to see. But you can see lots of land that you shouldn't be able to see with your eyes. What do you okay. mean? Well, have a look at that. Okay. Earth's curvature calculator there. Okay. It says for every mile it should be at 8 inches per square drop. Yeah. Okay, so it goes 8 inches and then 32 inches and 72 inches. Okay. So we can see all this land that we're not meant to see. That one there. I don't grasp it. I'm um, just, I haven't finished yet. Okay. So let's say here, for instance, this is Dover to Calais. Okay. Yes. So based on this calculation, spherical trigonometry based on Pythagorean's theorem. Okay. On Pythagorean's theorem. Based on Pythagorean's theorem. All right. Okay. So that's something you can check out yourself. Uh -huh. And so there we've got, um, what's it, Dover to Calais. And when you're at Calais, you can see the White Cliffs of Dover, but you're not meant to see that. You're meant to see that there's 300 feet that should be hidden based on that mathematical formula. 300 feet. The highest peak is 350 feet. 
But you can still see the White Cliffs of Dover in its entirety. So you should be able to see the White Cliffs of Dover from Japan if you have a telescope that's big enough. What about air density and air pollution? What? Air density and air pollution? Have you not seen? Oh, on a clear day, then you could see uh, the is White Cliffs of Dover from Japan. Is there such thing as a clear day? Yeah. I mean, we have them here in the Brecon Beacon. Well. Is that when I go swimming, I put my hand in front of me and I can see it and I think that's really hey. clear. And then further on, further on, further on, it gets, it, it, what's it? Well, how far do you think the sun is? Well, I, I really don't know. I mean, like, look, is the sun, I mean, we're, we're, is t- this, we're told it's 93 million miles no, Forget away, that. I'm but, asking but you how belief. far you think it is. Uh, do you well, think the sun is closer than Japan? Uh, okay, but I'm not kind of making a claim here. I'm kind of like just when asking You're questions. making lots of claims here. Well, I, I, do you think the sun is closer than Japan? Sorry? Do you think the sun is closer I, I than Japan? I don't know that. I don't know that. I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to keep saying I don't know on questions that I have that I don't know. All right. I, I don't want to bullshit you with stuff that I don't know. But can I ask you? Can you prove that we that the sun is 93 million miles? I can miles? definitely prove it, but not million? But, but not to your satisfaction. No, well, well, uh, well uh, good science. Uh, yes, but not who, to your satisfaction. Who can do, how can this be done? How can it be done? Yeah. By triangulation. What, 93 million miles? Maybe with a sextant? What? If a, if a sextant, could that do it? I don't know that a sextant can do it, but it can tell you where you are in the globe, yes. 93 million miles away. How, what, why did they first uh, what, uh, think the sun was like 12 million miles away and then 30 million Sorry to, miles to interject away. real quick. We don't have much time here, and I just wanted to ask, where would the live stream be available? Uh, so, uh, yeah. Ta-da. Jason of the Disbury family. Is that on YouTube or on Facebook? On YouTube. on YouTube, cool. And did you catch me look running after that uh, I did. Ball? I thought you might like the ti- this caption or title. Oh, <laughs> Round Earther chases his precious globe. I already put that in. <laughs> excellent work, excellent work. I just thought it was oh, too perfect. Of, it was too perfect of a moment to miss. You oh, know? something similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was quite funny, but I, I thought it belonged to somebody over here, so I just didn't want it to get yeah, lost. Yeah, no, no, that's fair yeah. enough. And thank you for that. No, no thank you. It was, uh, it was an interesting time. Have a good day, man. Um, yeah, I was just trying to grab an answer there for uh, can he prove the sun is 93 million miles away? And he says yes, but um, with uh, triangulation. Well, I find that interesting. Is, is that possible? I have to ask you for the name again. It, oh, sorry, Jason of the Disbury family. If you go to, uh, did you get a leaflet? I did. I do have well, one. On that leaflet, go to Effie Star, <laughs> and then you'll see a link there. All right, cool. Yeah, Thank that's, you. That's probably better. I'm just curious. Uh, mate, you said, and I, and I want to know. Uh, it's just one question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you triangulate the sun of 93 million miles away? Why did they get it wrong and say it was like 12 million miles away and then it was 36 million miles away and then now it's 93? I, I, I'm, I don't oh, know, oh. but if you ask me to measure the sun now, like just from scratch, yeah, yeah. what I would do is I would try to measure, like, I would try to measure several stars, including the sun okay. above us, try to figure out, like, and, like this guy. But then we've got to know the measurements of the stars as well, wouldn't we? Well, that's the thing. If we use Pythagoras, we should be able to, from three different stars and using three angles that we decide, okay. we should be able to measure out sort of a triangle on the sky itself. Don't we which need? Do, be do, able to, don't we need a, 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 a at least one distance? I don't believe so. I think that with all three, uh, with all three angles of a triangle. Um, you might be able to calculate the uh, uh, the relative distance between them. You okay. know, you might not be able to calculate an exact distance, but I'm sure you could calculate at least a relative distance. I think maybe using um, some of those fancier but didn't uh, they have functions. The, well, that's the thing that puzzles me, and I just don't know. And I'm yeah, not yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That's cool. That's cool. I, I mean, well, it's not. It's not like I'm an expert in the field anyway. No, no, like I gave not. up on maths about four years ago. But, but, <laughs> All I'm getting at is that this mass, wasn't this this mass that triangulates that? Wasn't this kind of invented before? Why did we get it so wrong, you know, like when we thought it was 12 million and 36 million? Well, I don't know. I like the earliest example that I can think of of somebody trying to calculate actually the circumference of the Earth rather than the, uh, the distance of the sun a little bit. Thing. Um, no, I no, was going to no. go further back to the, the uh, oh, Ptolemaic, oh, right. oh, Ptolemaic okay. kings um, because they built a series of obelisks to try and measure it out. Is that, right, is that's that, where that comes from. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I, I, I've been getting confused and saying that, you know, like, well, hang on, it's, uh, the Aristophanes, you know, like some people are saying uh, it's, it's obelisks, some people are saying it's wells, some people are saying it's sticks. So my understanding know, like, is that there was a government initiative at some point on the coast of, on the northern coast of Africa in modern day, or near modern day Egypt or uh, 
the area previously known as Kush. Yeah. Um, my understanding is that there was a government effort to standardize to make standardized obelisks, and that from this, one of the uh, scholars tried yeah. to take measurements by taking midday and yeah. taking the measurement of the shadow yeah. off of each obelisk. Did you, um, did you see the experiment that they did, and you know? based on if the sun was a lot closer and you could get the same formula? The, no, the same I haven't channels. seen that. I, I, did, we, I do remember in... I think uh, there were Argentinians that were doing it or something. It's on, it was on YouTube, yeah. but... I, I, well, I can't find it at the moment, but it, it is, it's on one of these It's videos. difficult to find anything that you've seen it's only get, once before. Well, it's getting difficult to find all sorts now. Because there's so much of it on there, yeah. I mean, like, um, just the other day I was looking for one, just one specific video of Parliament. And it wasn't until like I reopened the old laptop that I had seen it on that I managed to find right, it. Right. I think there's just uh, there's a lot of media out there. I did um, a, a, a short video on Aristophanes. I was just curious yeah. um, because I, I watched like I don't know if you know journalism. Joe Jaronism, like Globusters and Jaronism. No, I'm not familiar. Uh, actually. Oh, I need to go. Oh, I'll sort of... have a quick look at that. But anyway, look. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was talking about Aristophanes, you know, like that they couldn't find any kind of like I don't know, sculptures or scrolls or yeah. any books or anything. You know, like does this guy even exist? You know, like because there's no sort of record or mention. Yeah, of him yeah, yeah. That. But I was curious myself, so I, I kind of like um, took a measurement uh, from Alexandria to, uh, Alexandria to Siam. You know, like, um, because I think it was meant to be 800 stadia or something, that's what they were saying. Yeah, some kind but, of standard measurement for them back then. But that was all based on as the crow flies. Mm -hmm. So, and I thought, well, they don't have aeroplanes back then. So, you know, so how did they actually measure from the crow flies? And if that measurement was accurate as the crow flies, because, uh, you know, if you walk it, it's yeah. around about a, a thousand uh, stadia or something. Yeah. You know, like, so, and I kind of thought, well, okay, if it, if it is a thousand and not as the crow flies, then, then Earth must be 36,000. Yeah. Um, well, I'm not sure about that, but I do know that the uh, Romans had figured out how to survey land, so how to, like, triangulate across short distances okay. and plot straight lines. Um, because, I mean, they built roads so straight that when they fell away, the, medi the medieval people of the UK thought they had been built by gods, which is, like, phenomenal, really. Good yeah. engineering work yeah, there. Yeah, um, but, uh... Oh, sorry. But it, something... Romans... As the crow flies. As the crow flies. Like, yeah. Oh, and then another great example of that is... Um, What's his face? Uh, Leonardo da Vinci managed to be was one of the first people to plot a bird's eye view map, okay. um, and he did the same through counting paths and measuring angles of streets, right. and then um, using Pythagorean theorem and maths right. to sketch out a map from bird's eye view. And yeah, that's yeah. one of the more that was definitely that's at least the earliest confirmed bird's eye view map we have. There's rumors of ones earlier than that, but I'm not so sure about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they, this essentially was a, a battle plan for the Borgia family um, because most of his uh, patrons were military, of course. That's why, although he liked doing his art, yeah. he did design a tank. Yes. You know, He wasn't yeah, particularly yeah. a warfaring guy, but that's where the money was and that's where it still is today. Right. Um, but and, and yeah, so I, would, I wouldn't put it past talking. somebody to manage to measure as the crow flies, although I'd be impressed by them doing it over such a distance. Um, but that's what that measurement is. Yeah, no, it is. It's a huge measurement. It's yeah, impressive. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just, it, it, I find it really odd that it, you know, like, okay, so because that's, a, it was bang on. It's 24,900 miles. It's bang on. It works. You know, like, but, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I don't, I'm not even sure what the 24,000 miles refers to because I'm not even sure of the... If it is measurements that. on our no, I just don't know what the measurements on the on our maps are. Right. Okay. Yeah. But uh, anyway, well that's something yeah, to yeah. look at, and I'll look at your other thing. <laughs> yeah. No, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you again, man. Uh, uh, nice yeah. speaking to you. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. Uh, leave it. No, shake we'll hands. Do, Sorry, we'll yeah. engineers we'll handshake. Do that. Engineers. Well, the, the or mechanics handshake. The idea is that. Um, if you've been working on a car and your hard, no, hands yeah, are too right, greasy right. to shake somebody, right. you hold out your wrist instead. <laughs> People shake your wrist, you know. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. You have the same reasons of yeah. why the earth before. Because you went to school and were you told that? You were told, yeah. you were indoctrinated. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 Galileo not indoctrinated. Yeah. So no, you, you, you don't know her. You don't know her. You don't know him. Yet you were both, you were both have the same answers. How was this? So, so what's the proof then for the book? No problem at all. What's the proof? I just see so many. What's the proof? What's the evidence? Galileo proved it. Galileo proved it. Who's, how did he prove it? 
telescope. So he looked like normal. But look. <laughs> so he looked through a telescope. And see me again. Oh, there's a mirror in the sky. There's no mirror in the sky. Why is there a mirror? So what do you mean? He looked up at the sky. There's a big bright mirror that's going to look If you uh, want to catch Dave Mannell's um, channel, Trinity Four, get yourself on over there. He's um, having a discussion there. An interesting one. So if you look at the future, the North Star will change, and that's due to precession. The Earth's uh -huh. but that's, well, precession is, I mean, if you, say, if you do look at the flat Earth, typical flat Earth, the, the roof is like a, is like a, is like a planetarium, yeah. where it's just like a disc that's rolling around us like this. Feel the 10 minutes or so, I imagine. Why we don't try Blame you for the fiction skies Yeah, that's a uh, lazy diamond I took his, he's done three, he's got three videos on his channel hasn't he? I took his videos off uh, there you go, Lazy Diamond, he's stealing your music. <laughs> That's <laughs> Tapper777. He loves your music too much, he stole it. <laughs> Yeah, the guy talking to uh, Schemo, he, uh, he doesn't want to be on camera, so. It's been, um, been a, a windy day today. Um, we're not going to stay too long now. It's, uh, we're going to wrap up very shortly. And tomorrow is Birmingham. So looking forward to that. Did, did you all see this rocket here? If you want to call it a rocket. Um, we, see, we showed it last time. I'll give you a little walk about since we haven't done that today. It's a lovely place here, especially in the summer. And uh, although, is it, is it technically still summer? Possibly not. This, this is uh, fantastic. Uh, no plaque or nothing. Um, what have we got here? Course, you got the Welsh first version there. Can't read that one. Right, yeah. I think everything's winding down here. Oh, okay. Yeah, all good. good yeah. Yeah. You've had a, good, a few good conversations. Yeah, I'm just being preached to, really, aren't I? You know, they're just preaching to me. They're just uh, giving me what they think, and yeah. you know. Good. Those two, uh, they, he's a scientist, isn't he? That guy over there, and uh, they're, just, they're desperate, really, now, aren't they? Really, you know, they've got no, no facts. I said to him, "Give me the facts." He's just like, "Well, you know, I don't know." Um, we're not scientists, all of a sudden. All of a sudden, they're not scientists. <laughs> You're wrapping up soon, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. Yeah, the old fella I sent you, he was going a bit deep, and I thought, well, I'm repeating myself, yeah, and you're repeating yourself. Yes. I said, I'm still new to it, 
Do you want to see that conversation? Hear that conversation, rather. Go over to Trinity 4 on YouTube right now. Well, he blew up. Okay, okay, the guy who did the interferometer what they call it, the ring laser. The ring I don't think talking about that one. Yeah. No, that, that one, the direct thing that people say about that documentary is that we that Earth is proven to we're going to start wrapping this up, I think. About the curvature of the Earth and distance. All right, okay. And I have found a way you can prove the world is flat. All right, okay. Uh, the four, it, all it requires is that you take a short trip to France. Right, have you ever okay. been to France? I have been to well, France. Here's, here, this is a great opportunity Let's to go to go. France. Let's okay. What, what is this? So um, I assume six feet high, just to round things out. Okay. Okay. 
uh, if you're standing at six feet and you're looking at something 20 miles away, it's basically what I did, which is approximately the distance okay. from the beach to uh, the White Cliffs of Dover. Um, the horizon itself would be at 2.999547 miles. That's the, the, you know, the low ocean. Okay. For something to be seen beyond the horizon, if the world was a globe, yeah, yeah. it would have to be a certain height. Yeah. Now we determined that the White Cliffs of Dover reached 350 feet. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So the way to prove the Earth is flat okay. is if you're six feet and you're standing on the shore in France looking at the White Cliffs of Dover, right. you should only be able to see 157 feet of the top of the cliffs. Okay. You can prove that the Earth is flat by taking a telescope and photographing the beach at the bottom, at the base of yeah, the cliff. Yeah, of course. Because of if course. you can only see the top... That... On your maths, is it, is it the same as that? Is it the same as that? Well, I didn't use the figures you used here. No, no, I mean, that, well, they're kind of not my figures. They're kind of like... Okay. like but anyway, it was simple. It's you just go to France, take yeah. a telescope, and photograph the beach at the bottom of the White Cliffs. Yeah. Yes, you can see the top, but only the top 157 feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. will be able to see the whole thing, and that will prove your point. I'm, I'm, oh, wait, and what about the, the ones that are 293 miles away? Well, um, I, I, do I do only that? did... I didn't expect you to travel that far. And I the, wanted uh, to give you an experiment you could do yeah, yeah, to prove yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's Jay Tolan's work. Have you checked that out? No. He's got he's got uh, footage over 600 miles away of, well, land, I mean, of land that you should be able to see. I don't know about that. No, but uh, but I'm just so giving you, you I'm just giving oh, you an that's experiment. Brilliant. That's fantastic. I'll do that. Um, but would you would you check out Jay Tolan's work? Not that, really. Uh, I can't no. I can't pursue a lot of things because I don't have the embedded belief. Well, I think you do have to believe. That's the problem. No, I, I, I do believe that the world is round. But, okay. but I'm that open, is a belief. But I'm it? willing to be skeptical here oh, well, and give you the excellent. benefit of the doubt you and give be you a method to prove it. Yeah. Well, and, and an easy method. I mean, Not relying on an ex, another source, but this is something you can do yourself firsthand. Yeah. And you'll prove that the world is flat. Based on your maths. Well, you can you can do the math over again. The math will always be the same every time you do it. Okay. Okay. So you don't have to use my math. You can use How your own. How did you get to your math? How did you just say that? I first? looked up the information you were talking about about the curvature of the Earth and distances on, and on worked out. Oh, and, right. and I did the calculation using the computer because I'm very bad with numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So those are the calculations. I mean, I would do it on the back of an envelope. Well, this is the back it's of an envelope. Back of envelope. But I would have done it here for you on the back of the envelope if I wasn't so bad at oh, math. Right. Okay. Well, I'm sure someone in the chat will actually have a little look at that. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. No more money. There you go. Are you looking at that? Obviously, I'm not going to verify this on the street because, yeah, uh, hopefully someone. Uh, Maybe that makes a lot of sense to someone. I'll have to have a, a big think about that. I'm not yeah. saying this one. No, but, uh, yeah, but that's right. I mean, like, you know, uh, it's not, it's not there's no excuses. Either. Get on a train. I think that would be easier for me. Get on a train. Because yeah, 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 yeah. I'd love to put the speakers yeah. on. And yeah. That's what I was just going to say. You know, like, yeah. I mean, I mean that's, that's, it's, uh, it's the last train Sunday from every you. month. Yeah. You know, and uh, well, we've got a lot of people coming from. Oh, not, maybe not Wales, but uh, like from yeah. Birmingham. Yeah, but and the that. train from Cardiff straight up. I yeah. think. Um, are you at Roxanne City? Um, but it's literally a ten-minute walk. Right. Yeah. 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 So I mean, this more excuses, darling. You know, yeah. I can't. I can't. You know. It's a fantastic yeah. day there. I, I've, I've seen so many videos of it. I thought. I've, it, yeah. I bet it's better being there. It is. It I is. Mean, and there's not just. <clears throat> there's other conversations you could possibly have as well. I mean. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. Even if you're against, but okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, you know. Oh, you name it. I mean, like you literally just have to shout what conversation yeah. you're doing, and someone will come. And it's a good day. I mean. Yeah. Because I suppose we could come as a family if we could. 
my partner's on dressing, my son, but he yeah. is absolutely bonkers about it. <laughs> so we could just stick here in a corner with a deck chair and a yeah, yeah. pack of and sandwiches it, and a yeah. bottle of water. Oh, especially, especially next summer when it gets really sunny yeah. and all that. Yeah. That's what they all do. I, I think Dave, Dave just had a picnic there, didn't he? And yeah, that's sat right, there yeah. for the day. I, and I, I allegedly Dave had a picnic, didn't he, with um, Roxanne as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'd love to, because, you know, it's the only way you're going to meet people. You're not meeting them on YouTube. You know? No, that's right. That's right. So, um, I, I, I want to see what this um, conversation was about with Dave, and uh, and uh, I'll have to tune into that later. That's Trinity I'll Four, as well, and, uh, you know, because <coughs> this has given me a website now for a poem. So, so I'll, be yes. in. <coughs> I'll be looking at that later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she um, we were meant to go to bed the other night, and uh, she, but she didn't sleep. She just went through the whole night writing poems. You know, like, mm -hmm. so I said, well, yeah. okay, let's listen. She says, well, it's a draft and all that. And uh, so she, we were having dinner yesterday and she read it out and I thought, wow, that's damn good. I know, I can't, I, I've seen that. I'm, I'm honest with you, I can't wait to have a look at these. Yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. My son is, uh, is he likes things like um, what Lisa's doing with the poems. And yeah. how, how, you know, uh, he's, not, he's not a poem, he can't do it himself, but he loves listening. Yeah, and, yeah, um, yeah. He's fascinated. Oh, you like uh, that? She's got, oh, she's got she's hundreds so of them. So minded and fascinated with things, it's unbelievable. And uh, I, I say, just, I said, Lisa, it's a shame he's not here because. Yeah, he would probably have enjoyed today. I know it's, a, it's only charity, but he does, and he could have said, well, I'm not getting paid for it, but. It's no, but he's made a commitment. And he's and that's, what, that's what my partner said. You know, he's of course, of course. course. Yeah. yeah. No, hold on to that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let me say goodbye to people. And uh, and are you going now? Are you? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise you go literally right now. Yeah. You know, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. okay, see you soon. Well, I'll be sad, I'll be straight on that when I get yeah, up. we're going to wrap it up here. Um, thank you very much for joining us. That was uh, Cardiff. Uh, again, I, I'm losing track of days. I said day 13 on, uh, I wrote down, probably is day 13 or day 12. Um, it's very windy here. We've uh, We got lucky. We managed to tie onto the... On some sort of boxes there. It's been a good day. We've got the council here, they're looking at us, they're not too keen. You know, like, they're unhappy with their uh, yeah, jobs worth. Oh, you can you can just see it coming, can't you? You know, yeah, but we've, uh, we've managed to get through the day. Oh, here we go, here we go. It's just, it's okay. No problem. That's all right. Okay. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, yeah, we, we came last year. All, all from there, all private, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we, we, we knew that we could stand here and do what we want. <laughs> well, we can probably... Uh, We'll see. Yeah, that's okay. Are you from Cardiff? Martin's having a go. But uh, yeah, no, we were like, we're actually allowed to be here. Um, I've done my research. We're allowed. <laughs> yeah, this is a, where you're sat is all public property, and uh, pri that's private. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you can do what you want here. So, Martin's getting stuck in there. Yeah, uh, right, okay. So, basically, uh, matey wasn't happy with um, my, what's it, Dover to, um, <laughs> my Dover to Calais calculation. That's in the leaflet. So, he went away and he redid his own maps. Uh, oh, that guy, the uh, sailor. Okay, no, no, someone else. Oh. Yeah, and, and basically, yeah, yeah, maybe someone wants to pay off. So, yeah, so it's, uh, I, I thought you'd look at that and know whether that was right or not. Yeah, I'm just curious. I'll show that to where the guys yeah, work out there. I'm just, uh, very interesting if that's I did, he, he said he, he put it on his computer and draw it uh, or did it himself so yeah, yeah. <laughs> very good that would be interesting yeah so thank you very much for joining us um, we'll be leaving in the next sort of 10 minutes might have a little um, 
a coffee with the lads or something. No beers. I'm driving. Look at this. Someone's left his ball. Oh, that's. Uh, I think that's Martin. I think. Yeah, that's a bit of a mess. Don't worry about it. It's. Uh, I can't. I was looking for a knife or something just to cut it. Or. I know. So it got into a bit of a mess. Right, so, sorry guys, um, we will see you in Birmingham tomorrow. Uh, you're really running out on day, uh, I think you've only a few days now to get tickets. For those of you are, that haven't uh, got your tickets for the UK convention, on the 13th, 14th and 15th in Kidderminster. Um, uh, hopefully you've seen some of the links in the chat, if you click on them and uh, yeah. I think everyone here will probably uh, will see you there. <laughs> oh, he's going over. You want to get this? Martin's red pilling. It's a good intro. She's um, yeah, she's he's doing that. Yeah, yeah. She's, uh, she's saying that she doesn't. Um, yeah. She doesn't rely on the establishment to uh, give her information. She does it herself. Right. That's she's getting upset. Ah. Right, so guys, you know, like I'm, uh, I'm saying goodbye now. If you can uh, go and um, join uh, Trinity Four on his channel. Oh, I think she's. Looks like she's getting a little bit upset. So yeah, thanks for joining me. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you in Birmingham tomorrow.